Hey guys, crew of Blind Wave here. I'm Aaron. Rick. I'm Calvin. I'm Shane. And I am Eric. And we are here with our first ever commentary. Yeah. Yep. I, got, I just got the chills when you saying yeah. that. Yes. <laughs> this is our first one. We're going to be doing Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I haven't seen this movie since probably before The Force Awakens came out. I was preparing for really? The Force Awakens. Okay. You're a fool, Aaron. It's been a while. No, nah, it's probably about been about the same amount for me as well. Hmm. Shane? I watched it about five or six months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I saw it, not this year, but probably like uh, September last year. September. Pretty recently. I yeah. saw, I watched Rogue One and then watched this immediately yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If it's Rick? Uh, I think I saw it when, no, I, I think it's been about a decade since I've seen it. A decade really? since you've seen it. Before the Blu-rays came out, there was a fan that was like going through and making some changes to make sure. things more consistent. Yeah. And I saw that version. Oh, okay. So that's the last yeah. time I've seen it. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Never seen that one. Yeah, I, I've seen clips of it. Uh, they get rid of like some garbage mats and they change up some lightsaber effects and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Is that's that cool. one that uh, uh, Venom did? No. Okay. No. Topher? <laughs> Topher. No. no that, was, uh, that was a prequel edit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But no, this is episode four. This is the one that started it all, 1977. Mm -hmm. Oof. Uh, we're, we are watching the Blu-ray, the most recent Blu-ray. Uh, I don't know if there's a specific name for the edition, yeah, uh, not that I know of. but it is this came one. In, came in this case, the, like, like the real canon edition. Now. Yeah. yeah. That's, um, yeah. That's I don't know. Yeah. I don't know when Disney Plus comes out, what they're going to have on there. Yeah. So maybe it'd be available there, but most people probably have Star Wars. Some of you guys probably have it memorized like us. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, yeah, for those of you that don't know what a commentary is, we are going to be watching the entire movie and uh, to talking back. about it. Uh, throughout now that means that you're not going to be seeing any kind of reference footage or anything yep. like that there, or the audio even there won't be an audio any audio nope. um this is just us going to be talking so if you know the movie really well you can just listen to this or watch this and probably enjoy it a lot uh if you really want to you can also sync up your own copy yeah and i uh, believe we may also be putting this onto our uh podcast feed yes so, so if you're listening to it there it's also available in video form okay on yeah. youtube as well yep and if you want to have a say in what we do a commentary next, you can do that over at patreon.com slash blindway. Vote on the poll. Yeah, yes. currently a poll right now. There'll be a poll right now. You guys need to go over there. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, there should be a poll running for uh, at least four days mm -hmm. to a week. So we're going to be trying to have it. So every time you have a commentary coming up on YouTube, you'll be getting a chance to vote on a future commentary. Uh, that same week over at Patreon. And then we're going to be alternating this with reactions. We had My Hero come out already. Mm -hmm. um, and we have another reaction available right now on Early Access if you're watching this on YouTube. Yeah. So we'll just be alternating between some movie reactions and our commentaries and just moving along like that. Yeah, and this is the first time we've ever done anything like this. So if you also have any kind of constructive criticism, uh, you want us uh, maybe to change something or something you think we could make it better, let us know down in the comments of YouTube or yes. you can email us or all the different ways to contact us. With Twitter. But guys, I'm excited. Yes. So Me too. I think we should get started. We get talking about something that we don't typically get to talk about yep. because of spoilers or because it's not relevant to whatever else we're watching at yep. the time or whatever. So for uh, those of you that are going to be watching along with us with your own copy, we uh, are at the last possible frame of the Lucasfilm logo at yeah. the beginning of you, the movie. You can just barely see the Lucas. Uh, lo logo right yeah. now. It's so. fading yep. out. Yeah. So uh, Aaron will count us in with a three, two, one, unpause. And I would say just unpause when you hear that p of pause, right? Can I just say play? Yeah, I can do that too. Now! Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, play. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. I hope they didn't do it right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. I'm sorry. Go back. Go back. <laughs> back. Go back. Okay. Right. Yeah. So let's do it. Aaron, you count us in. We're going to watch some Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to get ready in three, two, one, play. All righty. All right. We're in. Now, look at that when it came font. to when it comes to the, this movie, this is a movie that's always existed for me. I never saw this the first time. Yeah, really. Yeah. Neither I never for me. sat down and watched this. I'm like, wow. Now I know Star Wars. I always have watched this movie. I just became like the age of like awareness, having already seen it. Yeah. Same so thing it's always me. been a thing for me. Yeah, I yeah, don't my, remember the first time of me seeing it. I remember yeah. the first time I saw Jedi. Well, I think I remember the first time I saw Jedi, but four and five were like that for me. Yeah. yeah. See, for me, the way it went, my uncles grew up when it first came out, and so I inherited some of their Star Wars toys yeah. Ooh. and played with them before I ever saw the movies. I was the same way with my brother, yeah. yeah. And um, the first time I think I actually saw them was the special edition VHS releases. Mm. Really? Hmm. Okay. I, I saw had the, a... uh, the original VHS releases. Mm -hmm. My parents had them through all of us kids growing up and stuff, and yeah, I, I don't remember the first time, but... 
we wore those tapes out. <laughs> yeah. My parents, uh, they used to travel a lot, so they would also get a, uh, they would they would go to like a Blockbuster or whatever it is mm-hmm. back in the day and rent movies, and then they would record it to another VHS. So I had one VHS yep, tape that, that had episodes four, five, and six, and that's the first thing I remember having was that. And sure. I would just play that like going to bed or whatever and just watch all the movies. Yeah. If I fell asleep, I'd wake up watching yeah. Star Wars as I went back to sleep. It was great. That's awesome. Now, now when I was a little kid, uh, in the originals, wasn't that – like uh, that title screen slightly different wasn't it spread out so you can only read it when it was like halfway up yes. uh well yeah it depends on what edition you were yeah, watching i remember just not full screen to read versus widescreen well, yeah. yeah which is taken from flash gordon yep. like they used to have these black and yellow title cards yes yeah. they would just move up by hand yeah well my dad i remember like being like why is that episode four and dad's like well and he, he told me battlestar galactica was like the prequels to this stuff and i was like <laughs> Really? I don't know see, what that stuff is. Yeah. See, when I watch this, like right now, we're watching as the Star Destroyer goes over Tatooine. Like when I watch this, I still just see a spaceship. Yeah. I don't see an effect. It just looks so great, yeah. and it's forty-two years old. It's one of the best opening shots in any movie. Look at that! It's, like, it's, it, it's, it's incredible. It has so I many. Mean, it's a three-foot model. Well, yeah. that, that's not. But yeah. it, it provokes so <laughs> many questions. It does in the audience, you know. And it just looked incredible for the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be hard for me to just not want to watch and just keep talking <laughs> because I just I get so enraptured in these movies. Uh, 3PO, many people say, oh, yeah, he's a gold droid. Yes, but he has a silver leg. Not all people notice the silver leg. Look mm-hmm. how scarred up he is. Yeah. That's yeah exactly. Yeah, because in, in 3, he's like in his most mint condition. Mm-hmm. He's been upgraded a lot. Yeah. And then you see him here. Now, in that shot before, uh, you could see like there was a blue and a red filter on R2's light. It was like halfway in between. Yeah, it switches in between. Kenny Baker's in there moving it. <laughs> <laughs> so he just didn't have it all the way one way yep. or the other. Kenny Baker Good got old. paid about $4,000 for this role and didn't get any royalties. No royalties. Yeah, <laughs> that's terrible. That's terrible. They, yeah. I, I read things where they would like go on lunch and forget him in they there. They forget about yeah. him. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Especially in the hot Tunisian sun. Dude, that'd be <laughs> terrible. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Good yep. old Kenny. Like, or R.I.P. Kenny, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was one shot that they were doing where they were waiting for R2 to move, and he didn't, and they found out he was just passed out inside, yeah. didn't they? Dude, I, uh, crazy. This, I, is a, this is a great entrance, yeah. man. I remember <laughs> I, had, I was a kid. I had a, uh, like a laser tag gun. Yeah. I would hide behind my bed waiting for the stormtroopers to enter and pretend like I'm shooting them <laughs> yeah. back. I, I like the effect. Of the door just kind of explodes. Yeah, and then you know there's I mean? just little pieces of like stuff. It's just gone, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's interesting is in Rogue One, you know, the way Vader kicks him ass. And then here, the mm-hmm. stormtroopers leave. It's because, you know, like, this is Leia's ship. So, he had, yeah. diplomatically, the Senate has, hasn't been dissolved yet yep. by, the, by the Emperor. Yeah. So, he has to come on like this. Because the Emperor and Vader are still trying to hide sure. the Force from the public. The Force powers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Such a risky move here. What's weird is it really this is. takes place like an hour after <laughs> that great movie, Rogue That's, One. Yep. That's crazy. What the yeah, hell are they A little doing? hidden cut in there, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Between yeah at the, this point, I one of the greatest interests. Uh, I just can't imagine watching this for the first time and being like, who the hell is this? You know? <laughs> I just don't have that experience. Yeah. At this point, people are probably thinking maybe he's the main character. Yeah. Well, I was, I was watching a thing, too, with Mark Hamill in a and a and stuff, and he was talking about how uh, he was like, George, is there going to be like some exposition? And be like, oh, Darth Vader, Lord the Sith, da da da. He's like, yeah. no, we'll have him in black. There'll be some sinister music. They'll people, get, he's the bad people guy. People get it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone thought he was the hero. Yeah. No. <laughs> it, it was just funny the way. Wow, okay, man. I'm overthinking this, is what Mark so, was saying. I'm, I'm curious, you guys. How many times do you think the Imperial March is played in this movie? Probably none. I don't know. And it's none. Yeah, it does yeah, not right. appear to yeah, episode five. five. Yeah. five I, I, yeah. But when you think about it, like when you're trying to remember, like, oh, I remember the Imperial March in this movie. No, it's, you have that yeah. dun, 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 which is kind of like an evil version of the main theme. Yeah. Don't they kind of just have the, they have the Star Wars theme that goes through its whole thing and it kind of has its dips and, yeah. you know, and isn't that pretty much the only song they really use? Uh, like well, different parts of it throughout for the most a, part? There's some different, a couple different things. Look at these but, poor smucks right here. Like you kind of retroactively fit in a lot of themes in your head when you're watching this movie that weren't there. No. Good old Captain Antilles. No, Captain yeah. Antilles. That guy just looks terrified. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's so big. Do you think all these stormtroopers know what Vader is? Like, oh, I know that guy. Or, or this is like the first time, like, I'm working with this Vader dude who's going to come in. Holy shit, he's holding a dude up with one hand. Well, the com- in the comics and the, like, the canon comics and novels, like, he's like yeah. a ghost. Everyone knows about him. Yeah. And they admire him, actually. Sure. Um, 
but no one really knows he's the force. I'm just saying, like, there's got to be millions of stormtroopers out there. They've never, you know, yeah. they might know about him, but, like, seeing yeah. is believing. You got to remember, know? like, these guys didn't see him use the force because Vader went solo, like, when he was attacking just a couple hours before this. Yeah. She killed that guy. Good. Yeah. yeah. And then, well, I, I hope he burns in hell. <laughs> Jeez. He, Corellian hell. Corellian hell. So th- does Vader not have a 501st Stormtrooper unit? Um, Vader, I don't, I think he still does. They just don't have the, uh, the color markings or anything. Yeah, yeah. They're, all the like the it's still, they're called right. Vader's Fist now, aren't they? The, this 501st? Is that yeah. the canon of it I, now, I, or is that? that uh, maybe I know, that's I know 501st is sure. canon still. Yeah. yeah. Well, 501st is, but yeah. him still having it, you know, at this yeah. point now, does he still have a 501st unit? I don't know what they're called at this point in time. I mean, uh, I assume his special Legion of Troopers is that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you guys know that the Tana 4 was originally a design for the Falcon? For the Falcon, yeah. Didn't know that, no. I didn't know yep. that. And That's uh, cool. Lucas thought it looked a little bit too much like uh, Space 1999, I think it was called. So they ended up changing the Falcon, keeping it sh- this this design for yeah. this ship. Why not, they- not fire on it? No, just a malfunction. I would fire on it anyway. Because lasers are expensive. It okay? must, <laughs> must be. Well, they have cartridges. They have no qualms about destroying planets. They have like batteries and stuff. They have qualms. It just they like it. Okay. (laughs) You guys ever notice most stormtroopers are left-handed? They're holding their guns that way. Like I've read it's something to do with like the costume and how it's made. Well, Well, if you you look the magazine, yeah, exactly. I was gonna say most of the guns that the stormtroopers have have a cartridge off the left side of it. So if they hold it right-handed, it pushes into their their costume. So most of them actually hold left-handed guns. He's talking about Jyn Erso and them now, which is crazy. The Rebel Spies. Yeah. Uh, so when you guys are looking at Vader, how can we tell that Vader is from this movie and no other movie? Because the helmet is not symmetrical, right? It is not symmetrical, Ooh. but it's not in the entire original trilogy, well, actually. Isn't one side more black and one side more silver? Well, the, the main things is that his eyes are much more red, red. in this movie. Yeah. And he's he has robes over his uh, shoulder armor in this movie, oh, whereas yeah. in other ones, it's just the you can see armor. the entire plate behind uh-huh. it. Do you think he's just walking by the Emperor, and the Emperor's like, you know what would be really cool if you just change that? Yeah. And yeah. he's like, you know Vader, what? This would be cool. <laughs> yeah. He's just brushing his teeth in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And uh, they do carry that over to Rogue One when they remade Vader for that. He yeah. looks very more like A New Hope than we've ever seen yeah. in mm-hmm. the new stuff. Do you know Peter Mayhew was almost Vader? Yep. Didn't know that. Peter no. Mayhew got the choice to, like, we need a tall guy. They so had, you can be Vader or you can be Chewie. Yeah, they and had Peter and David yeah. both. And wow. David wanted to be the bad guy and Peter wanted to be the good guy. Yep. So that's Peter, awesome. Peter got yeah. the dog. Yep. <laughs> the Peter dog, had the choice. Yeah. And he's like, well, Chewie's on screen more. <laughs> so I'll be Chewie. Yeah. <laughs> and it just worked out so well. Can you imagine Vader walking like Peter Mayhew? <laughs> yeah, right? Wouldn't that be weird? <laughs> yeah. But no. I, yeah, I saw something about that. I'm like, well, that's cool. I didn't know about that. Oh, man. I read a thing too where like a lot of a lot you know a lot of George's original script design and stuff like this he had one giant movie yeah so he, when he was doing this he cut it to make you know just well let's take the first third and I'll make that a movie yep and that'd be the only movie I make so I had to cut a few things and make some things different mm-hmm. so he made the Death Star blow up at the beginning of the first movie yeah instead, instead of, of at, at the, the end, end of the third which he brought back anyway to blow yep. up at the yeah. end of it you know so um, yeah, when this premiered, him and Spielberg were like in Hawaii hanging out because he was so certain it would bomb. He was yeah, so certain yeah. it would bomb, and they wrote Raiders of the Lost Ark while they were there yeah. in Hawaii. They, yeah. they come out for like five years, but yeah. yeah. He had so much trouble making this movie. It was ridiculous. Like, yep. no one believed in it, yeah. Had a $10 well, million dollar budget. Even he didn't believe in it. It went up to 11 or 12, though. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It didn't have the publicity behind it. But I just love like the lower budget, like they're shooting in a real desert in mm-hmm. Tunisia, yeah. planet, yeah. but it just adds this realness to it. Yep. And like the kit bashing of the models and everything, everything just yeah. feels pretty pretty soon three PO is gonna be walking by a crate, a crate dragon yeah. skeleton and that thing is still, still there, there. In episode two. They <laughs> they put it up there and then yeah. when they went back to film for episode two, they went over to visit it, it was still there. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Awesome. Yeah. What what's interesting is like you know, like they separate, and R two kind of looks at him like really humanly. Like, should I go? Does. Should I go with three PO? Should I go I, over here to yeah. do my mission? I mean, you know, like like I said before, like I look at R two, I just see a droid. But sometimes when I watch, I try to force myself. Like that's Kenny Baker in there grabbing handles and turning and shit. Yeah, you know? right. And be like, I hate this. <laughs> you know? And nowadays, you look at like BB eight that they can just move with yeah, remote control. Yeah, it's crazy. And stuff, it's like, you well, know? That's, that's that's what it is. Yeah. There's the crate dragon. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. right there. I read a thing that said something about uh, in the original scripts, uh, R2-D2 spoke com- like basic. Yeah. And yeah. he was very foul-mouthed. 
Yeah, and and they changed it to beeps and stuff, but they in post production. Yeah. But then they leave three PO's like responses, responses to it and they stuff. Do. Yeah, it's uh, great. I was like, that's a funny idea to do that. Yeah, I, I just it's like it's, when you're listening on a f- like uh, to a phone call and you can't hear the other person, but you hear the one response. Yeah. And like, I can tell what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I love it. What the hell did yeah. R two say there? Yeah. What's interesting is oh, how they know. made that post cha- <laughs> that choice post production. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it's like the whole thing now is R two. Yeah, yeah. Well, they they you know George wanted to have like a kind of a kid story but he didn't want it to be g but he didn't want it to be r sure yeah you know that, you gotta find that middle ground there's no pg-13 back then yeah, yeah so we got a pg rating that sunset shot is added in the yeah, special editions right i believe so it's new it yeah it felt really out of place yeah this the lighting in this particularly looks great yeah i mean i know it's been post-process and all that stuff but you know filming in the desert they have the sh- the shadow, you know, right there. Mm-hmm. When it's all shadow, it looks great, but they can't really properly expose in a shot like that. I love Jawas. Poor R2. Now, isn't this the same location that they shot in uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King? Uh, I don't know about <sighs> that. Those little bastards. Man, yep. you know I can really appreciate an animator drawing that lightning by <laughs> hand. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's a cartoon. And then he falls over. Yeah. Like a person. Yeah. Well, I don't want him to, like, do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Just the, the whole sound design on this movie. What, what, what's cool? Ben, ben Burt? Yeah. Well, yep. what's cool is during, uh, when the special editions came out, they actually completely stripped the sound, took the old sound, and remixed it so it sounds better. The mm-hmm. movies never sound better. Yep. Yeah. What, that's just crazy. They did everything again. I love these Jawas. Like, there's one a, a couple shots ago that's so kiddy in his run. Mm. He's, like, he's like skipping. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's a combination of children and little people. Yeah. It'd be funny if Kenny Baker was in there. Yeah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm just making it heavier. Let me out. <laughs> you, think, oh, no. you think Kenny Baker was in there when it fell down? No. <laughs> no, yeah. Fuck. Uh, so is, the sand crawler, did they make a practical sand crawler? No. I think there's just a lower half with, with the, the tracks and the, and the roof right i was curious i heard a story one time i forget when it was but it was something like someone told me like a neighboring country was getting upset because it was like this tank thing yeah but it ended up being a sand crawler really but i was like did they actually make a sand crawler though because i didn't think they did no you're, I, no, you're I right think they just like, made they, they just made like the wheels the tracks i think maybe it was just enough of yeah. it that they yeah. were like there's a weapon yeah, yeah they actually called george or whatever or like the government at the time libya or whatever told them to move it back <laughs> from the border is that who it was? Was Libya? I don't want to. Yeah, I think so. I don't want to be wrong, but I'll commit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. There was also something about a, uh, like Tunisia when they went to film, like the first day or second day of filming, mm-hmm. they had like the biggest rainstorm they'd had in like fifty years or something like that. Yeah. Jeez. Yep. What a time to film. How did you get all those metal shavings on him already? He's been there like five minutes. Well, it, it's, I think it's implied that he like got sucked up and just thrown into this room, <laughs> and we just missed that. You know? Look at R2 here. He's you a gunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. If you guys haven't watched our Clone Wars reactions, yeah. that's the best thing that's ever been said. Because yeah. <laughs> there was a double gunk, and Rick just from God said... <laughs> Badonka gonk. <laughs> like a muse. <laughs> this is like R2 walking down. That like guy's a, terrifying. Yeah. 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 That, like, that robot with is. no arms. It's like R2 is walking down a like a dark alley here. Like, I'm droids. These guys are droids, but they're Ugh. not the same droid as me. Then he sees a friend. See, that one is scary looking. It has like an eyeball like sticking out almost. Yeah. It looks like the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. See, yeah. like, that looks so like real. Jigsaw to me. Doesn't right. that look like a real thing right there? I think that's a miniature. That, isn't it? Yeah, that's like a little RC car, it looks like. <laughs> Yes, look at these dobacks. Yeah, the dobacks yeah. new in the special edition. This whole yeah. shot is, I believe, right? Well, there was these guys well, here on the left. There was these just, guys weren't here. Yeah, and then it panned over, and you saw like a, there was just like one guy in the back. Yeah, yeah. on top yeah. of like a mound yeah. of rubber or something like that. Well, it makes yep. you just feel like there's more of an imperial presence here instead of it used to be like two guys. Yeah, there was yeah. like that one way back there. Yeah, and then there was like a few guys up here, and that was yeah. it. Yeah. Now there's so much more. Yeah. Look, sir. <laughs> Man, we his found helmet shit. looks different. Like he has an expression of like a little bit. I'm yeah. so Surprised. proud of yeah. finding this, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the angle. It's like uh, folding a five dollar bill. In Is half that new? This yeah. shot? That's new. Okay, yeah. it looks really good. R2's dome dented there underneath his eye. Wake up! That used to be my alarm. Wake up! Really? Don't wake up! <laughs> it would just get louder and louder. <laughs> We're doomed, he says. <laughs> I 
It's so hard not to just watch the movie, man. Yeah. 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 I was just thinking, uh, we were just recently at Star Wars Celebration. Yeah. And uh, getting to hear Anthony Daniels talk about his performance. And, yeah, you know, that was great. Working physically, like, you don't get to talk in the suit. You just you emote with your motions and stuff like that. It's really great to yeah. to get to watch it again after hearing him talk about yeah. it. Yeah. It, it's cool looking at 3PO's uh, design, looking at his face. It has to be completely neutral so that when he's he speaks happy, he looks happy. When he yeah. speaks sad, he looks sad, but his face never moves, mm-hmm. which really speaks to the design, I think. Like, it's completely neutral, but you can read a lot into it. Well, it's like whatever the scene is, too. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, he's sad here for sure. Oh, he's happy here for sure. I mean, I'm sure it was stressful, but I would imagine the prop makers must have had the most fun on this movie. Yeah. Hey, oh, they went crazy, they man. They just Definitely. go to town, yeah. make anything they want to. I heard that Anthony Daniels almost didn't take the role. What really pushed him into Ooh. taking the role was seeing yeah. uh, uh, Ralph McQuarrie's uh, artwork, yeah. artwork now, for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell Uncle. Huh? Yeah, she's like, tell Uncle. Yeah. Like, I yeah. never heard my aunt say... Tell uncle. Yeah, tell your, tell uncle. your uncle. Yeah. Like, well, it's like it's saying, like, tell dad. It's been yeah. like, you know, yeah. not tell your dad. dad. They introduce the protagonist like 30 minutes into the movie, or not 30, but like 15, 20 minutes into the movie. Sure. You know what I mean? It's common. It's, it happens. Not sometimes. back then. No. Yeah. yeah, they're like country bumpkins, right? They, they so. are, yeah. Mm-hmm. Farmers, you know, <laughs> just moisture farmers. Yeah. yeah. This planet sucks so much, they have to farm for wetness. For water. Not water. <laughs> wetness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it makes me want to make an RPG thing where the world, there's this um, intergalactic irrigation. Yeah. Like aqueducts. <laughs> yeah. Knowing what we know of the prequels, uh, 3PO has worked this farm before, just doesn't remember it because his memory was wiped. Yeah. Yeah. And I assume there's just enough. I don't know. I figured he would have remembered him, you know? Yeah. Uncle I wonder Owen. what all he did on that farm, though. Between one and two, probably the same thing they'd have them do here. <laughs> work on the, work with evaporators and communicate with them. I wonder mm. how big they are. The, the evaporators. Yeah, I believe they're the things that you see like in the distance, like the the spires. Guys, it's the, the things fo- that kept falling down. Guys, it's the force sensitive droid. No, it's not. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, so oh, this, look at them looking at each other. I think. I think they see the light go off. Evaporators are similar to like. Uh, garbage dumps and stuff. They have tarps over the ground. Thank you, Force. No. <laughs> it's, he's, he's shitty. He's shit. Huh. Rick, have you ever heard that? No. There was a, it was it a comic or was it a book? It's a, it's, a, it's a gag comic that that droid saw a vision and knows that, that R2 needs to go with Luke, I so see. he sacrifices himself. Because <laughs> he's a Force-sensitive droid. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> and then he, he, he appears with the other Force goes the end Return of Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the job was when he was like, what are you trying to pull on us? Pull on us. He throws his hands up in what? the air. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? Like me in the cornfield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember never liking 3PO growing up at all. Yeah. Really? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Make Interesting. Like, because people like hated Jar Jar. And I'm so thinking... in, in this shot, you can see the Skyhopper in the background. A lot of people miss that. Yeah. Yep. He, his ship is actually back there. The one that he has in his hand. It's a little model Where? of the actual ship back there. Oh. Hmm. Like right back there? Yeah. That's the Skyhopper. That's the shit that he talks about when he's bullseyeing wa- uh, mm-hmm. rats. So it's like a, a crop helicopter? Kind of. It's like a biplane. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's space worthy. Yeah, I don't know either. It's so great that this is like this is like a small town and he just wants to leave. All his friends left to go to the academy. Mm-hmm. What academy is this? Is this like it's Imperial it's Academy? An Imperial it's an Imperial Academy. academy. Yeah. It's really the only it's like uh, you know, someone that can't afford to go to college, the only thing they really do is maybe go to the military. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But in this case the military are evil. But yeah. it's your only option. So yeah. his friends like Wedge and stuff, went to... Well, Biggs. Yeah, Biggs. Biggs yeah. went to that and then the Rebellion? Yeah, Biggs goes to the Academy and then hooks up with the Rebellion after yeah. that. That's why, you know, the last thing he heard is that he went to the Academy. Then we see him later. There's actually a cut scene uh, where Luke goes into town, which is a couple huts, and meets up with Biggs before he leaves. Oh. Mm-hmm. There were a so, lot of things... Is that when he picks uh, up the power converters? Uh, I, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of uh, cuts that had Luke and Biggs, especially in the yeah. original version, that got yeah. cut out. And there's a lot yeah. less Luke and Biggs in it. 
And I remember, like, towards the end, like, Biggs, you know, his ship mm-hmm. gets hit, and he, Biggs! Yep. <laughs> and that, people were like, what? Why does he care about him? Yeah. <laughs> At that moment when 3PO, like, I've always noticed growing up, like, he turns his head, like, faster than he ever has in any of the movies. Like, when that thing comes out and yep. Luke says, what's this? He just, like, shakes his head like crazy. Yeah. Hmm. Beautiful. <clears throat> Can you really tell? I mean, I can tell. I can tell. She ain't ugly. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> She's got that beautiful dress, tape all over her this body. A, this boy's <laughs> living in the desert. <laughs> Sees his aunt. And that's it. All right. <laughs> that's he could be Biggs with her. He'd be like, he's beautiful. <laughs> what do you mean his aunt? I'm just saying, like, it's the only he's, woman he's really seeing he's that in the much. Of the oh. He's in the desert. Like, as of right you. now, all we know he sees is him, his uncle, his I, aunt, and some Jawas. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the best you're talking about her. That's the best she's aunt. No, well, Calvin. Ridiculous <laughs> man. I know. That's Calvin. why I was confused. Suffer in silence, then. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but he does know a Ben Kenobi. I love how Obi Wan's like, you know, I'll change my name, but. I'll keep the same. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. There are trillions of people in this galaxy. There's got to be millions of Kenobis. <laughs> but yeah. Obi Wan, no one, no one knows that. I yeah. gotta, I gotta do that. He's just another Kenobi. Now, how exactly do the restraining bolts work on top of their already pre-programmed? I think it's just like a it uh, limits their free it, will. It, yeah. From what it, I understand, they can't like, like go the, off. Yeah. Like, the, they have to stay like a certain proximity, I think, yeah. to where they're programmed there. Hey, look, R2 being tricky here, telling, you know, tricking Luke to take that thing off. Yeah. Tell me more, Shane. Being tricky here, look at this. <laughs> tricky man, yeah. <laughs> I was always confused why he had another, like, eye stock thing coming out the top of his head and why he never used it. Well, that could also be his sensor to detect life forms or something else. You know, it doesn't have to be an yeah. eyeball. He also uses it to see whenever he's, like, underwater or in the sand. Kind of like a little Well, no, the, thing. Uh, the little, like, he has one in the front that he, like, moves around and looks, but he has one coming out the top of his head. I, I always sure. wondered why he didn't, like, use that one, too. Uh, that conversation does. benefits, like, the most from R2 not talking. You know what I mean? When he's like, no, I don't think he, li- I, I don't like you either. Yeah. I just love how... Like, I wasn't super into sci-fi when I was a kid, yeah. born into fantasy, but this is basically fantasy. Like, you have princesses, you have wizards, you have swords. Yeah, he never yeah. thought it was a sci-fi. He took it to sci-fi conventions because it's the only thing he could have, but he said it's a fantasy that takes place in space. Yeah. It's space opera. There was a dragon in the desert. There's yeah. wizards. There's yeah, that evil guys... lords and sword fights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That wizard's just a crazy old man. Yeah. <laughs> I watched him say something about a, it's like a, it's a, a space soap opera. <laughs> it's yeah. like what it really is. <laughs> Look at that look they have on her face asking about their dad. I blue see milk. It. Look at the blue <laughs> milk. What's blue milk made of, Eric? Uh, I don't know. It looks... There's going to be blue milk at Galaxy's Edge. Yep. It looks interesting, but it also looks disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> Normally, at the point where milk turns blue, I don't want to drink it anymore. Look at all these Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> their cups and stuff they have. Yeah. We used to have a, uh, a cinnamon sugar shaker that was remarkably like their milk jug. Remarkable. Except it was... I wonder Much why smaller. The roof is only partially painted. It looks like it has like a leopard print thing going on in, mm-hmm. in the other shot, but it's like not finished. I thought it looked kind of like a like a porous kind of look texture to it. A harvest. What are they talking about? Like no water, man. I know, but like I'm just trying <laughs> to think how that works. I think it's like it's all like is Adobe, it, but they like just like rain? yeah put the the whitewash so, or whatever on the inside of it, right? No, nah, there's a, a there. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah, I get okay. you. Uh, yeah, it's just a cool design. Yeah. It's almost maybe like a it's an old shell. The roof? Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's like an old Tuscan oh, cave. Maybe. And they like preserve taken it that. over. Yeah. Maybe. So see, with, with moisture farms, maybe, Shane, it's more like you put up your moisture evaporator things. Mm-hmm. And by then, that much and of they start, they start creating a moisture like field. So they have other crops. And then yeah. they do still have to harvest that moisture. Well, they water those damn here. flowers. <laughs> they do? A waste. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> I'm this trying to think of the ecosystem here. You know what I mean? This is definitely the time for John Williams to shine. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. without this song, you're just like, eh, dude, just looking at the, what the hell's going on? I but here I'm just like, ah, like, oh, man, I want him to get away and yeah. 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 have an adventure. Start and his hero's journey. Yeah. You get that emotion from the music right here. Yeah. Yep. So great. You know, and for a movie you know, made in the 70s, I mean, 
the hair doesn't bother me too much. You watch some other movies made in the 70s, and sure. you're like, yeah, that was... Well, George was, was kind of anti-style, yeah. yeah. but then, like, but the, the style at the time was anti-style. But True. this became a style. Well, all the, the other the anti-style different... shaggy hair yeah. look. Well, you just you can't recognize anything earthly in this. Like even the the theatrical score. Like, you know, this this was came out. This came out when disco was huge and stuff. Like yeah. they could have had a very yeah. different <laughs> kind of music, and that would date the movie. <laughs> but when you have a classical uh, orchestra orchestrated. A score like this, it's timeless. Yeah. Star you know? Wars, What's, nothing but Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> Which is weird. The, the Jedi, they look like they have these humble robes. They just look like common, like almost beggars. And like Luke, you know, they're kind of poor, so he wears similar outfits. Sure, yeah. R two D two just snuck away. He can't find. It. How do you get away? It's all flat in every direction. <laughs> you just wield. Just pick one. Wield faster. Well, he can. He can sense. Uh, put his sensor out and yeah. scan for life forms so maybe he did that yeah found luke on hoth right or they think how luke to. find him <laughs> calvin do you know how the name r2d2 came to be no i do not eric you know right uh maybe i don't, I don't, I don't know. know i don't know uh, american graffiti oh. during that time oh, okay. okay they were it was a name he got from american graffiti because they needed a certain they needed real two um, depart second department or something yeah. like that which came out to being r2d2 gotcha is what real he needed and he's like, I like that. Yeah. And he just kept it. Interesting. The okay. way she does that reminds me of Yoda. Like episode five, he's throwing these little vegetables in a little pot. Yeah. Yeah. And just like their houses, just pretty consistent with episode one. It's awesome. There's no smudge anymore. Nope. No, no. no Vaseline smudge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No Vaseline. Yeah. They used it to hide the wheels. And yeah. it had kind of like an orangey mm -hmm. look to it. That was fixed. Yeah. Yeah, because man. there's only like one or two shots where he didn't have that. Sure. Here's like this, this is an this elephant. Is, they yeah. brought an elephant out of the desert and really? put all that mm -hmm. yeah. wool on it. Yep. That's well, an I mean, elephant. Kept fucking passing out and shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what else would it be? You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. That's it's a, a hell of a thing to do. I know. <laughs> well, they had a heck of a time because it was so hot and putting all this fur over it. The elephant also wanted to keep pulling it off. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. so hot. That would be so damn confused. What the hell is going on? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I'm right here. I know he's that close. I wonder what the worst is. Yeah, what's worse than sand people? Great dragons. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah that's true. Yeah, but several of them? <laughs> could be, that'd be, that's worse. Those fucking elephants down there. All right, hang on. What, where is the this, this sand person that he sees? On the right. I feel like he was never there in the original one. Oh, look out. I always remember looking like, where? Where does he see so one? So this... Oh, man. The shot uh, uh, upcoming of the Sam person, right there. Yeah, you can you can kind of see a little bit of the jerky motion there. Like the guy just put it up and put it down, but, but they wanted something else, so they they looped just looped it. it. So he's going, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and it, only if you know that can you kind of tell. That's cool. Look at the rocks in place to hide the fact that it's sitting. Yeah, just sitting it in. looks a little weird, but I get why you would do it. It's like, why can't they just see him right there? Well, actually, in the, in the original, there was no rocks, so they added them in. Yeah, that's what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. But, yeah, there's something about the shot that it looks weird. I don't think it looks weird. I, I kind of sound. Of, I yeah, I, I'm not a fan of the new uh, no. crate dragon. It's supposed to be a crate dragon yeah. thing. It's so weird. Ooh! Ooh, why did this keep? Why don't this keep the old one? What is that? What changed that? Yeah. <laughs> like how did you do that with his voice? Ow! <laughs> it's so funny to think of Al Guinness doing that. <laughs> yeah. The original sound was scary enough. I thought. I thought it was too. That one is just a little silly to me. Well, I grew up on the special edition one, which is just it's different than the original original too. Mm -hmm. Hello there, General Kenobi. I've heard so much Ray? back and forth on how much Sir Al Guinness hated slash enjoyed what he did on Star Wars. He, His estate's he, joint he, I don't think joined he, the money. I don't think he saw it as necessarily art, but he definitely enjoyed that money, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had the best deal of any of the actors in the yeah. first movie. By far, Harrison yeah. Ford said he was like a pro on set. They used to goof off with George and make fun of him, and then Al Guinness would show up and they'd all straighten up. Yeah. <laughs> Act professional. <laughs> yeah. The man's a legend. Yeah. Well, he had no idea the impact it would have and stuff like that, you know? I mean, this would change. this, though. No. Yo, yeah, he yeah, was, yeah. I'm saying in terms of him not liking it. So what do, you, what do you guys feel? You think, like, Obi-Wan is lying at this point, or does he legitimately just not remember? See, like, what you... Don't remember owning a droid? 
I mean, he tells him the truth here. Mm-hmm. From a meta point of view, I feel like he's 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 being evasive a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? He's lying. You could just be senile as well. I mean, well, I also, think it's something to be forgotten. An- the way An- we've been watching Clone Wars, the way Anakin feels about his his droid sure. is way different than Obi Obi Wan's. Like, well, let's get you a new one. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? well, which is weird. In two and like in in three, Obi Wan is really disconnected from. R2 yeah. and 3PO. So yeah. they're trying to kind of like move into the fact that, hey, mm-hmm. Obi-Wan was never really around them that much. Were we center? I, I was going to say, if anything, Anakin owned R2. I don't think Obi-Wan ever really owned a droid. He just had a droid for whatever reasons he needed a droid. Yeah. yeah. So him yeah. saying, like, I don't think I ever owned a droid. It's like the same thing of... for his clone troop transport ship. It's like he didn't own it. He just used it when he needed it. Yeah. 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 You know, keeping you, you don't have possessions and stuff, and that being the Jedi way. Mm-hmm. And then once he got here, I mean, he definitely didn't have a droid. So sure. yeah. I, I yeah. could see him just honestly being like, I don't remember ever, ever owning a droid. Yeah. But he's also sitting around basically waiting for Bail Organa or Yoda to call and say, hey, now is the time. Yeah. But he never gets that message, so he just goes on his own, you know? Well, yeah. he gets, I think he indirectly gets that message. It's He thinks it's the Force. Yeah, the Force brought Luke there. <laughs> I love in the back of that shot. If you look under his arm, you can see his arm sticking out the back of the suit a little bit. Yeah, you can. That wipe and stuff they do there, like Anthony Daniels had on, like he can't sit in this outfit. No. Yeah. In order for him to sit like that, they actually had to take off the backs and stuff of yeah. his costume. So he can bend. Yeah, because otherwise he couldn't bend and sit or anything. They, he would have to like rest against like a, a board. Like all the yeah. protocol droids would have sure. to rest against a board because they mm-hmm. couldn't sit down to rest gotcha. during like in between takes. That's you know, terrible. <laughs> yeah, you know, just something that's kind of meta for Blind Wave. I'm so used to talking to you guys like in the small little parts where we have time yeah and it's i'm like having to train myself to talk while things are happening yeah because <laughs> i'm so used to talking it's just, it's interesting like, it's, oh, some time you don't talk right now i know it, it's so cool he said he was the best star pilot he was a good friend and you think about all these things he was you know what i mean and then you thankfully we get to see it in the movies well, and the clone wars also uh, he is uh, what o- owen says that he was a star pilot on a spice freighter right yeah. Which it, they very much in the in the Clone Wars, the Twilight, that first ship from the first movie that we see, that's a spice freighter. So he was a star pilot in a spice freighter. Owen got that right, at least. Yeah. <laughs> you mean Attack of the Clones? Is that what you're talking about? No, in the Clone Wars. Okay. Now, in this first shot where he turns it on, there's a there's a jump cut. Yep. There is. They like tried to have everybody freeze. Yeah. And Put the blade in. See, this so is an to it. this is an updated uh, lightsaber glow and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Still, was, still don't think this movie's ever gotten the perfect. I don't, and I don't know why it's so hard for them to fix it if they really wanted to fix it. I don't know. I when it's when it's almost pointing at the camera, it looks like the tip is just thin. Yeah, blunt. Which I'm fine with that. I guess just the glow and the color is very inconsistent. Right sometimes. here. What? What? So I mean, like you know, uh, there's a lot of historical evidence that basically maybe George didn't conceive the idea yet that. Darth Vader mm-hmm. was his father. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, he's definitely. But it looks like stuff. right here that he's lying, doesn't it? Well, that's us reading into it. I mean, we're seeing patterns where human, you know, humans are see- pattern seeking animals. Well, you it know? looks like he's not telling the whole story. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think that was maybe part of the direction. Is like you don't really want to talk about this, but you will. Do you think maybe you George know? didn't know what he wanted yet? I mean, he he's admitted that himself a lot of times. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Definitely. He, he probably left it more ambiguous so that it could be either way, depending on what you know went on yeah. later. Because I've seen interviews where he said, yeah, it was always a plan. Well, the thing, Darth Vader means dark father. The thing you got to keep in mind, too, is that when he made this one, he was playing on this one being the only movie he was going to have. Yep. So to dive into all that kind of stuff, you didn't sure. really need to. So telling at this point, okay, he killed his father. Okay, that's just what you can believe. Yep. Let's just go ahead and do this and make this one movie mm-hmm. and then we'll be done with it yeah but then when you go into the rest like, oh well i guess i can go into the rest of my story yep. let's have a twist occur and everything and obi-wan wasn't yeah. truthful and stuff i honestly i wouldn't be surprised either way i mean yeah. we know for certain that luke and leia weren't brother and sister right um we, we know that whenever yoda talks about there is another in episode five they luke or lucas was thinking about having this another jedi potential not yeah. a not a sibling yeah so I love Alec Guinness's face. The call to action. Yeah. Yeah, the call to action. When he's, uh, like, looking at R2 and looking at Leia. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, shit, all this stuff that I tried to hide is coming back. 
it's so cool. This was filmed, what, 43 years ago or whatever, that we can just read in all this history that we mm -hmm. know that they have no idea what they're talking about. You well, know? Yeah, it's, yeah. We're it's watching, so great. Yeah, we're watching the Clone Wars right now, and then yeah. you, I look at Obi-Wan as this grizzled veteran. Sure. He's done all this crazy shit. You know what I mean? I mean is there anything that spawned more, like, spinoffs? I mean, I, I, don't, hmm. I don't know. I mean, there's no franchise Nothing like this Nothing worthy of note. One, you know? <laughs> And this is the not rising to the call, right, of the hero's journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's always, like, a denial, I can't do this. Then we have the, the, the old samurai saying, you can, I'll teach you. Yeah. I guess Star Trek might be the closest. Maybe, Probably. yeah. 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 I said worthy of note, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> you watch I mean, Star Trek. I know. Star Trek had various inspirations, oh, too, for Star Patrick's Wars and stuff as well. Yeah. Flash Gordon, uh, Buck Rogers, Star mm -hmm. Trek all had various inspirations yeah. for... Yeah, Star Galactica. Man, that thing's moving, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You see it now, they don't move that fast. That thing's no. just... Rawr. So the dude in the white yep. is Admiral Ularen that we know very well from oh, the Clone, okay. uh, the Clone you know, Wars. You know who that is, yes, right, Rick? yes. General Skywalker. That's interesting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Hmm. We need a table like that. We do. Yes, we do. The giant ball in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. What we does need, the ball do? We need a war room. Is it like a hollow thing? Where it's a projector. Yeah. yeah. It's a hollow. It projector. could be a droid. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it pops out of there. <coughs> like the the top fear. Flips Look over at those like cheekbones. A, I love Incredible. those cheek. Look at those eyebrows. Look at you, Lauren. Yeah. Attack eyebrows. Look at those sideburns. Yeah. Yeah, they have good <laughs> sideburns. I love the guy's hair back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit 80s. James Old Jones recorded all of his lines for this in two hours. Yeah. He also <laughs> he's said un he, he's he, uncredited, yeah. Well, he, he had said he didn't want credit because he didn't feel he did enough work to get yeah. a credited role. But he also wasn't sure how good this was going to do and didn't really yeah. want to be a part of it. Sure. Yeah. Which was funny because David, he was upset that they used James's voice instead of his. Because yeah. he was like, well, they just wanted to have more representation of, like, you know, African-American community and all that kind of stuff. And then he was like, well, he wasn't even credited. <laughs> like, no one knew. <laughs> yeah. What's interesting see, is... Right, right, see right here? Right before he chokes him? How red Hidden eyes Fortress, which is what George Lucas based a lot of the stuff on, was the Hidden Fortress. Sure. Akira, Akira, Akira yeah, Toriyama. Yeah, yeah. yeah Toriyama, yeah. what I say. I have said the Dragon Ball guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you wish. Look at, the, look at cup. Look at the cup. Yeah. Looks like one of those uh, collapsing cups, like camp cups. Rebel Fortress. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I feel like he's singing there. When so these that. guys, the only ones who are even remotely aware that Vader has the Force, and they don't believe in it. They talk about this old religion, you know, that's not around anymore. And then yeah. he uses the Force to choke him. It must be real. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or it could just well, be like he's he, got some kind of fucking switch on his glove. Sure, he's doing an, some yeah. magnetism. I don't know. Like an Empire, he's choking people left and right because the Death Star gets destroyed in this movie. Yeah, and he's under pressure from the Emperor to find the rebels. He's aware of his son. He's trying to find his son. So he's much more frustrated than he is in this movie. I mean, f just from watching the movies, it doesn't come across like they care if people find out they have the Force or not, to me. You yeah. know? I, just, yeah. I think, you yeah, have I think to, it's like, just so few people see him actually that. do it. Yeah. Uh, there was a thing with uh, Tarkin. Uh, what is it? Peter Cushing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I saw a thing talking about how he hated his boots. So unless yep. he's in a shot that you saw his feet... He was wearing slippers on He's set. wearing slippers, shorts. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, you know, how, how accurate are these stormtroopers? That, well, what stormtroopers are he talking about? You know what I mean? I mean, that's just, I think that's just a movie thing. Like, you know, they're supposed to be, you know, it, it's kind of like a meme that stormtroopers suck, you know? Yeah. But yeah. it's not like necessarily a canon thing. That's well, yeah, 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 like they the, took the tent of four. Yeah. Yeah, because Dave Filoni said, like, at this time... There's a lot of nepotism and stuff like that. So, like, these stormtroopers, Ooh. they were nothing like they were during the Clone Wars. Yeah. I, I, remember, I, just I think that's trying to justify a meme. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't see what was here. I was like, I don't really? understand what's going on. Now that I'm yeah. older, I'm like, oh, my God, this is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> there are fans that have made action figures of these. Yep. Yeah. That's a horrifying thing. It's terrible. Yeah. I, I hate the idea. Like, think. I hate thinking about what happened to them. Well, yeah. That, that, that happened. Yeah. Like, yeah. a flame trooper came in, you know, or yeah. something. Like, Rawr, what happened? Like, how terrible that is. It's fucking awful. Better go out to the field. And that's and it. 
Yeah. Farm all that moisture that just burned I up. know. Who's going to farm the moisture? Those TIE fighters are going slower than the, the big one was. <laughs> yep. Well, they are short range. I love these narrow quarters. I like seeing Vader bend into this room. <laughs> that thing's terrifying back there. Yeah. That really is a it's fucking a scary there. little thing. It just has a needle on the side of it. It just like turns and gets you. Is it, yes, it's not like even an arm. That it's <laughs> yeah. it's not. It just has That's to. Terrifying. It just floats into you as it stings yeah. you. This is where my fear of needle came, needles came from. <laughs> is that what it is? Maybe Vader just looks at her. Yeah, I see. It looks like you could just knock it away, though. Nah. Know. The Vader was moving forward, maybe to restrain her. Like, yeah. At that point, yeah. See here, they had a big arm on the land speeder, Look how and they just turned it in, so it pulls is. in. Yeah. So that's why whenever he takes off and comes back in, they didn't need anything for the wheels because it was actually floating. Sure. Mm -hmm. Later on, in different shots, they put Vaseline like on the lens to smudge it to hide it. So there's yeah. like this weird. Well, that's the force field that's keeping it up. <laughs> was the idea, I think. I didn't even start the fire. I think R two was just like <laughs> probably like a. <laughs> He threw some oil on it and then used his boosters in yeah. his legs. <laughs> that dark that was a great episode. Yeah, he got and nothing Luke left. Luke accepts his destiny here. He's rising to the occasion. Mm. That's a fucking good story. Gosh. Or he just wants revenge. Look at that. Ah, uh, it's so right. much better. It was that guy. It's no, weird. It's like, no Mark Hamill. In all the other movies, we never hear about his aunt and uncle as like any kind of motivation. You know what I mean? Now they added the uh, the little distant ships in the background, right? They uh, added a lot. No, they were real spaceships. No, I mean like they didn't <laughs> this have is any. All new. Look at the Wombrats. Look at the Wombrats. Yeah. yeah. Now for those of us that love Shadows of the Empire, the the old game, we're gonna be seeing the Outrider in the background, Dash Rindar yeah, ship. I, I really enjoy that. Uh, the droid smashing yeah, the other flying one. It's going to be right there. It's there kind it of a, it's a Corellian yep, up ship. on the top left. Yep, that's cool. It's so cool they put that in there. Yeah, I've heard of people that didn't like this that were like, "This is unneeded." I'm like it is, but it just gives more life to the galaxy. I feel like. Yeah, oh, I think people well, that watch it for the first time when they see something like this are like, "Oh, this is an interesting place." Well, I can yeah. see why it might I mean, be scary. It just feels stuff. out of place with like the effects with the rest of the movie. See, it. it I don't know. I think it might. It might not. I think that it's hard to divorce knowing that it wasn't there now, you if, know? If you saw it and never knew it wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. Like a kid watching right now would just be like, "That's what's wrong with that? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, like the lighting is different. And... It's, it's like when you hear a voice actor and then you have a new voice actor and you're like, that doesn't sound right. But if yeah. you know, someone's never heard the first one, sure, you wouldn't know the difference, you know? The scene just kind of starts here, right? In the old ones. and Yeah. Yeah. So does he mind... Trick. I love like, that, this is that all building new. right there is yeah. just a crash ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> built into it. Yeah, <laughs> it's so cool. Well, because the original idea is this is basically like a much smaller place, but I like the idea that it's like a big city now instead of like a, you know, a small place. I mean, it can still be s small for what cities yeah. they have here. You know. Yeah, well, I mean, a big city cool. in terms of like Marietta, Ohio, but not in terms well, the of the idea Coruscant, of Luke going you know? from the farm to like a big city now, like yeah, to yeah. start the journey, like Hercules. So when he mind tricked the, uh, the, the stormtroopers, storm trooper. did he do one? Did he do all of them? Like, were those other guys like, he just did the command? What the hell right? are you talking about? You didn't even question anybody. Yeah. What do you, how do you know they're not them? Yeah. <laughs> he might be the boss. <laughs> I guess, but <laughs> don't try to put the force in a box, Aaron. <laughs> well, I mean, he had the uh, oh, the, the jaw was drunk. Jaw was just sitting in the back, like, ugh. <laughs> do that do back? Yeah, he looks great. Do you guys remember the old do back they had? Yep. Mm -hmm. They just had his head on a stick. Yeah, and they just yeah. moved yeah. it around yeah. a little bit. Hey, we have seen these guys. I love the cantina, man. A lot of these masks were just on a shelf. Yeah. Uh, and they needed to fill in some patrons. They, they needed so. more. Yeah. So they just did that, and they are just bipedal yeah. guys yeah. in costume. Like now they just put out a call to people who cosplay. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's, a, there's an astronaut-looking guy that still has his astronaut helmet on. Uh -huh. Yeah. It seems kind of weird. Like, how's he drinking? Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, that, that little guy getting a beer reminds me of Lord of the Rings Beth. with the hobbits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those guys just they Pretty look soon the we're most gonna have scary a... alien-like. Yeah. This guy? You want to talk to him? All right. We'll see some Duros, too. I don't know if we've seen the Duros yet, but Cad Bane is a Duros. Cad Bane's yeah. race. No, we haven't seen him yet. A guy going I think baller. he turns around later when he gets when the one guy gets his arm cut off. Hey, there's one of the, the guy on the left. I haven't seen him in here before. There's the twins. Why don't they serve droids? Uh, uh, so, I mean, it's just like they see him as lesser life form. 
Rodian. Okay. Yeah, there was the <laughs> they're, because they're taking jobs. How do those guys <laughs> drink with their helmets on? You they never probably grab have a bartender like that ever. <laughs> no, that's like tugging on somebody's shirt tail. Hey, give me something. You want something? Yeah. Okay. Fuck you it. wait Here. until they look at you. I love the sound. Right there you there. go. Yeah. yeah, it's Cad Bane's race. <laughs> I always thought the guy on the left looked like a uh, thing that comes out of a tremor. Yeah, that yeah. guy back there. Yeah. I love that guy back there in the hood. Yeah. <laughs> the skull <laughs> guy? Yeah. Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What a great scene. <laughs> These guys just barely escaped Jetta. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Rogue One. They've had a crazy couple of days. That's yeah, one of the greatest have. cameos ever was him being in that. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I liked it. A lot of people said they didn't like it, but I liked it. Oh, yeah, I, I liked, liked it. it, dude. I'm like, that guy's still a prick, you know? It's only a couple of days, you know? <laughs> You'll be dead. <laughs> He's probably drinking away his sorrows for everyone that I he love knew back this. at Jedi. Obi-Wan's like, fuck you. I'm cutting your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with it's not very low the profile. lack of cauterization of the wound here? What's the canon reason for that? Uh, if you are forced to give one, I just make one up immediately and say, well, that species has very high blood pressure and it broke through the, the burnt wall. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Or he cut it so quickly that yeah, it he looked cut pretty through, similar to a human. I don't know. it as well. Well, that was the that was his arm. That was the butt face's okay. arm. Okay, yeah, butt face. Yeah, yeah. Which he wasn't Pondo even. Pondo Baba. The other Pondo. guy was the one insulting. Yeah. You know, but no, I, I, for a low profile, it seems like something you shouldn't be doing. Yeah, bring out your lightsaber, cutting off an arm. Yeah, shouldn't have fucked with me. Yeah. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. I think everyone's gonna believe a bunch of drunks. Lightsabers might be on the black market now. Right. He didn't even. He didn't even try they to mind be. trick him. He's like, no, I don't want any death sticks. Han Solo. You know how many other famous people tried to be Han Solo? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. And Harrison Ford didn't even really want to. No. That one shirt collar just sticking well, out. Well, he was just like, he gave up on acting pretty much. He wasn't making any money and he was doing carpentry and the mm. office and Luke, and he worked, with, he worked with George on American Graffiti and he's like, hey, come here and read here. And yep. they realized he's so good. Well, they, they just needed him to read for other characters. Yeah. They yeah. just had him as a stand-in, yeah. and they just end up, dude, just be in the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it won't change your life or anything. <laughs> and no questions asked. Right? Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Need, need yeah. No questions. Look at him. He's 35 there. Okay. He's like this old man, but he still managed <laughs> He's playing to be a 29-year-old, so yeah. You know? Yeah. That happens all the time, though, Shane. I love how Obi-Wan asks for no questions, and he immediately asks a question. Always when you you see Chewie in the background, he says ten thousand. Chewie's like, <laughs> <laughs> calm down, Luke. You know it's, it's not like, like dealing like, with Anakin back in the day. It's not like driving a car. Like all these ships are so different, made by different species with different languages well, and, and appendages. He's and it's like I can I can fly anything. He's probably only yeah. flown terrestrial ships. Yeah. Right? I imagine there's like a technological singularity, like at, and at this point, like a lot of the stuff in a galaxy is kind of the most sufficient way it could be built. Almost, I mean, you know what I mean? Nowadays, people can't go between Windows and Mac. <laughs> True. Right? Yeah. <laughs> How the hell do I close this window? <laughs> this thing's only got one button. Fuck. Fucking Max. <laughs> Han just sits there. I like, love Han's face. Like. <laughs> Yeah, those guys can be desperate. Preying on the weak and yep. the, the vulnerable, right? At yeah, this yeah. point, yeah. But Obi-Wan doesn't care. He knows he'll have the money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Luke's like, I'm never coming back here again. But he does. That was a controversial scene right here. Yeah, let's see how things have changed now with the Blu-ray release. I've never been a... I, I don't care. A lot of people care about this. For me, I never really cared about the change. I didn't care either because, um, like, I grew up with special edition, and then I went back and watched the old ones. And I, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess it is different. But, I mean, if I had to pick, I would have him just shoot him. But, me too. Yeah. Me I, too. I would too, but what, what bothers me the most is the quality of the effect. Yeah. yeah. It, it, well, that's why it's better now. <laughs> like, it's a lot better now. Yeah, they did have him just head just move to the left and in like, very twist his neck janky yeah, way. Just watch and see how it looks now. Yeah. There's our reaction. That guy was Anakin's friend, right? 
Uh, <laughs> yes and no. The timing doesn't really work out. So they have like Greedo and Greedo Jr. Okay. So yeah, it happens the exact same time now. Yeah. So which it's like he's moving backwards on his original decision to have yeah. on shoot almost. Yeah. It, it works much better now. I, I still think it works the best. I, I mean, still prefer the original. Where he just shoots him, and it's I like, oh, Han does the shit that he needs to do to survive. Well, I like it's that. not even that. Like, the guy's, and, and the, the guy's s- got a gun in his face anyways, right? Yeah, true. So, yeah. But, so it's like, well, but it's the same thing, pretty much. Rather yeah. than having him shoot and not shoot doesn't matter at that point. Yeah. And I definitely think Lawrence Kasdan had a, something to say about that whenever he wrote Solo. Yeah. <laughs> and made that the crux of the movie. What do you mean? I love it when the man in the scene is the smallest in stature, the less, in, yeah. the least intimidating physically. Sure, but just he looks intimidating to me. Yeah, like the face. There's a new droid in there. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's what's a few in- just little new this or that just mm-hmm. kind of popped in a little bit here and there. Like well, what's interesting is Anakin's view on technology and the Force, and like Vader is almost like this technological terror is nothing to the power of the Force when mm-hmm. he was such like a. A technological genius when he was younger. He helped modify, uh, you know, the TIE Fighters. Yeah, you know I mean, seeing these sets really reminds me of what we saw in The Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Very absolutely. Like, this back alley stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at that white protocol. Not a protocol. Yeah, that's droid. a freaky. That's the same freaky yeah. droid we saw earlier. Whatever. Just not yeah. fucked up. Look at like a clown droid. Fuck looks it. like he's got Tourette's. The way he's moving his head. Yeah. It looks like they just primed him and forgot to paint him. <laughs> Look at this scum, scummy guy right here. Yeah. yeah. What's it called? A- Kazan? I can't remember. I had the action figure when I was yep. a kid. Yep. He's got those welding goggles on. If I could change anything, I'd just change Obi-Wan's pointy hood. Really? Dude, yeah. we and, had... And when we did the pit... He's a wizard, a, though. Yeah. When right. we did the pit, we had a guy who made a really good, good one, one of those yeah, yeah. that looked really cool. And Jabba looks a lot better than he did in the special edition. Well, it's because in the special edition, he looked like the worst thing I've ever seen in my it life. Was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he but looks, he's a similar. He looks more like his episode does. one uh, CG look yeah, here. Yeah, but and the we, lighting, we, we the got, lighting is better. We got like, a couple sh- Rodian, three Rodians actually. Four. There's another. There's one. a lot of Rodians in the back. And Boba Fett. Yep, and Boba Fett. First appearance of Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, in so, terms of like having him there, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know. Kubaz. Well, it, it, I, I'm glad Job was in the, in this one, honestly, because it it's it's it feels like it's more of a threat than him talking about it. You know what I mean? I got these debts I got to pay off. Go you know? over his tail right here. <laughs> yeah, it's, just so funny. it's yeah. a it's a funny solve for that. You yeah, know? yeah. But yeah. I still like watching the original footage of this, where it's just a Scottish guy in like a wooly shirt, yeah. a big yep. fuzzy. He's like, oh, yeah. my boy. <laughs> yeah. He looks so much smaller here than he does in his palace. Yeah, yeah, but he's also sitting up on, like, that pedestal thing, yeah. too, you know? Well, even still, like, having uh, Carrie, like, laying down next to him, he just looks weird. Yeah. You're a wonderful human Look being. Look at all these fucking cronies, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, uh, yeah, that's cronies. one of the best parts of this scene is getting that, having him in it. Boba. Yeah. Look at that haircut on that girl back there. That's yeah. definitely a 70s haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Looks that's like, like she was straight out of Pulp Fiction. Poncho time. Poncho. Ah. So... Do you guys know the voice of this thing? No. No. Wee wee. It sounds like the little droid that Chewie scares away. There was a mouse droid. There's a rumor. In in a way, that thing is voiced by John Wayne. Yeah. They uh, they needed a voice for it, and uh, what's his name? Ben Burt, right? Yeah. When he was making the sound for it, he found this weird audio distortion from this John Wayne audio clips that he had. So when John Wayne would talk, it made this other kind of noise hmm. that was, it was just like an accident. Yeah. So he uses those noises to make that creature's noise, yep. which is all stemmed from John Wayne talking. Yeah. Uh, I was like, okay. well, that's neat. So it's kind of like John Wayne. <laughs> yeah. We just saw the very often missed golden dice in the Falcon. Yeah. yeah. Which if you're not looking for it, you would not notice it. <laughs> yeah. But it became very important later. Is that the yeah. only time they're shown too? Because I think uh, they got No, sh- there's a couple other times that we see it. We I, see it. Uh, Chewie hits his head one of them a lot. And then uh, when After, Han is in there, we see it. At one point, though, I think they get stolen from the set. Yeah. That's shitty. So these, yeah, th- those dice are just regular dice with the dots and stuff. Uh, they're later updated to have more Star Wars-like markings. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh? What the hell? <laughs> Ooh. 
I love the Falcon so much. Yeah, it's like yeah, a, it's a great size. looking ship. It's not like the Enterprise, just this huge thing you can't picture, but it's not like an X-Wing. Yeah. <coughs> All those switches. Yep. It's like so complicated. Well, it's like a helicopter cockpit. But they never use any of them. Yeah. You see, it <laughs> seems like piloting is more like a... It's like you get to be a coder more than you do have to, to actually pilot. Yeah. Because Chewie does a lot of the flying. Well, like, you know, in aircraft and stuff, engineers make the designs, yeah. not like UI engineers yeah. or whatever. I love now looking over Chewie's head on the left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. For L3. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's pretty interesting, yeah. I guess like the switches in this, like when you pressed them in this, they were like loose, and you, yeah. you know, when the, sw- the switches sucked, but now they actually switch, mm-hmm. and yeah, so that's kind of cool when they click. <laughs> What's that flashing? Do you think Harrison Ford came in and was like, "What does every button do?" He did. Well, he he wanted to have a consistency in how he did things. Yeah. So he was like, "Okay, when I want to go fast, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go forward, not back." So did he make it up? I think that they kind of worked it out a little bit, but he it was he said that he wanted to ha- make it feel authentic. Oh, I love this shot. That's that's weird yeah, because the throttle on a plane. my favorite shot. In the movie. You pull it back. Yeah. To well, make well, it go what's interesting is Harrison Ford, like he had a commanding like kind of personality, and then like it, in the rest of the movies he made, like he wanted that kind of control. Starting with this big movie, you know. Hmm. So this is uh, when Carrie Fisher gets a little confused and is like, "Do I do an accent? Do yeah, I do I know, an accent right? when yeah. I was on board?" So it seems to be when she's more being more diplomatic, she kind of yeah. falls into like a English accent yeah. kind of yeah. speech. She's no Kevin Costner. In no, Robin Hood. she's not. I mean, it's also probably very difficult talking to Peter Cushing and not having an accent. Yeah, I would have the same problem. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Peter. <laughs> yeah. Well, who's this guy? Man, watching this, I just keep flashing back to how well they did with the Rogue One. With Rogue One, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, it's yeah. still, like, I'm looking at him, I'm almost look going like, man, he looks a little uncanny valley here, <laughs> you know, because yeah. they matched it so well. Yeah, he looks unbelievable in Rogue One. The man. lighting yeah. in this is just so well matched. Yeah. It was a great way to show the Death Star, make it threatening, while yeah. not blowing up a whole planet, mm-hmm. was just to do that test. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Dan Dewey. I'm sure we'll get there one day with the commentary. To Dan Twain? Yep. No, to Rogue One. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard that Carrie and Peter got along so well yeah. that she had trouble trying to pretend that she hated him. Really? Yeah. yeah. I heard that you may fire when ready all the time. You used to have like a battleship Star Wars thing that was electronic. Yeah. Yeah. It had that in oh, it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, may cool. fire when ready. I love that noise. Oh, it's a great noise. Yeah. It's one of my favorite noises. I guess I like these guys would get like dudes. cancer or something. Yeah, they probably do. Head, you know what I mean? But get no. him at least a handrail. All yeah. that radiation, <laughs> they probably standing. don't have cancer. Oh, That's this terrible. Is a, this is a great scene. Look at that lightsaber. Yeah, <laughs> Look at it, it I, I just can't believe that someone's like, all right, let's fix this. And that's what they did. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I, I could it. do th- that in five minutes better than what was done there. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah. Maybe they didn't want it to be like that? No, because they fixed it. That's that's better than it used to be. <laughs> I don't know. But it's not good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they would choose to it do it like, that way. It has like a green tint to it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and it, and it bounces so much. Yeah. yeah. I love this wide shot of the Falcon. Yeah. Look how dirty it looks. Look at how clean it is in solo, you know? Yeah. See, yeah. That, right now it's looking a little green to it. Like, I understand, like, the actual core itself is going to look <sighs> the same, but. <laughs> now that looks cleaned up a lot. It's less, it's less like uh, fuzzy. F- fuzzy. Stop, yeah. It's still but it still looks motion-y, good, though. Look at that. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, that's just like the post-processing of the film. Mm-hmm. just making it look great. Oh. I really want to play that game. But that's I mean, going to be a droid. I just love a stop motion. Look. look to it. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look as complicated as Go. We can't beat computers in Go anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chewie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's so badass. But he doesn't even have arms. He's fine. Yeah, 3PO is worried it's going to be his arms. <laughs> yeah. He's already lost it once, this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like white at the base and yeah, like blue at the tip. He's already pretty proficient blocking those fucking things. 
He's got the force. Well, you yeah. say that now, and then. Right here, yeah. Oh, well. I mean, when we throw shit at each other, sometimes I hit something every once in a while, you know? Yeah. Squirrel in a nut, right? Yeah. Yeah. Blind squirrel. Ah, my butt. <laughs> On. He has seen a lot of strange stuff. Yeah. He, has. he was a couple seconds away from Darth Maul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's one thing they did pretty well, I think, in Solo 2, was like they didn't have anything no. forcey related, mystical related. It was all just Yeah. Know, do well, it, get it not done. To Han. Know? Yeah. This is like incredibly dangerous, because if he misses, he can like cut through the wall of the spaceship. Yeah, he could drop it. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the dead man switch would go off, right? It's just like I don't know. everyone would die. I I hate the feeling of like not being one know it's coming, you know? Yeah. <laughs> just clenching your butt cheeks just now how could Han Solo say this is luck what was about to happen <laughs> you've seen a lot of strange things he's also stubborn yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah you might be thinking oh okay he studied the pattern he yeah, gets okay. it now yeah First step into a larger world, like all of us watching this movie. Yeah. 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 You're right. You're right, Rick. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm done. That's it. Bye, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see Yalaren again, do we? Uh, No, I don't is believe that's so. That's the only time you see him, isn't he it? He does. He is confirmed dead on the Death Star, though. Yeah. They had him yeah. on set for one day. Yeah. yeah. They just needed, like, let's get some old, good-looking dudes. Yeah. And they got him. He's like, all right, you, you're wearing white. Like, yes. <laughs> Why? Are you important? Maybe. Such a cool effect. It is. I love the yeah, the just the junk in space. Design, twinkling you have to be and standing stuff. up in order to stop yourself out of hyperspeed, which is gonna be like <laughs> yeah, the, right. the most drastic stoppage. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like a, a handrail that you can hold into. Well, there's too many buttons. Could you imagine having something like this happen? That's like this would be like crazy. the equivalent of like going to a city and you get there and it's just destroyed. Yeah. You're like, what the hell? You know what it feels like? Uh, I I was just at my my uh, dad's farm earlier uh, this week. It's close to Lowell. and wait, well, it is no, not not too close. <laughs> but we had a slip on one of our county roads, so I came around a corner, and the road that I've my entire life have biked down and saw is just gone, and it's down here, and this this entire land just went like it has slipped off the road. Huh. Yeah, and it, it it was like, it was such a shock. Yeah, like my entire life, it was that way, and suddenly it's just not. You know? Yeah, yeah it's probably like that. Yeah, probably. Except there was like billions of people yeah. on it when it slipped, and they're yeah. they're all dead Ants. now. <laughs> just gonna shoot that thing. I, I guess it did shoot at them first. Yeah. It's a melon. I think of that every time yeah. now. I know. How fast are coming up on it? Yeah. Very bad feeling. Very bad. Yeah. First one was very yep. bad feeling. <laughs> Chewie! Chewie locking the auxiliary power. Shit. He just moves the same thing again. I did it. <laughs> Look. I'm trying, trying asshole. I, t I turned it more. <laughs> He's got those headsets. He's why got that fur there. How did he, he hear anything? Why does he have a headset? No one else is wearing a headset. Who's he talking to? <laughs> Maybe the ship's talking to him. Maybe. Uh, yeah, it could the, be. Yeah, the navigation computer. Yeah. Or, like, you know, he's normally the one that talks to people when they land. <laughs> or that. <laughs> like flight control. I mean, rah, rah. <laughs> that fucking thing is so fucking huge. Yes. Like, the idea of it. It's nuts. I know in the... Uh, All that slave labor. <laughs> yeah, right. In the original story, uh, I know George wanted to go to, like, a Wookiee planet. And but it, then since they were just doing one movie, he's like, well, let's just bring one Wookiee make him a co-pilot. Yeah. I think what the, like all this stuff is great. All the space all troopers that stuff outside. Is amazing. Yeah. That shark Not all cage that there. Added, though. What's that for? Not no. all of it, but so, just enough. 
What was that shark cage looking thing hanging down there? Mm. <laughs> shark cage looking thing? Uh, yeah, in the in the landing bay. I'm not sure. What if you fell down that shaft? That elevator shaft? That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, Those no, guys are all lining up along it. No railings there either. See, how slow you're fine. Now you can jump is. in, Aaron. Huh? No. Now? Right now would be a perfect no, you time can't. for Imperial March. There's Look, so it's, much it's of the a, elevator yeah. that's just not there. It's just a little bit. This is it's terrible. so dangerous. <laughs> What if you just fell? Ah! There's no safety in this place. OSHA would not approve. No. Well. Decoy. It's an expensive decoy. Yeah, yeah right. The, the escape pod. Yeah, we know it's been jettisoned. On the double. So, what was the rest of that sentence? A presence I have not felt since. Maybe Mustafar? Maybe. The uh -huh. Clone Wars? Yeah. Has he ever felt that that again? Like, what's he sensing? Yeah. Is he sensing. I'm just saying, like, in episode two or episode three, it's like, you know, our, my doubles have. My powers have doubled since last time we met Count, and that date keeps getting moved up because he, they keep encountering each other in the Clone Wars, you sure. know? I wonder if it could be something like that that would fit in with. Ben Invader at all? Hmm. Well, I don't know. There's no Kanan stories right now. Is like there? he was chasing him down. Does it have to be Obi Wan? He's sensing. Yeah. What if he's sensing Luke? Just you know? Luke or just the Force? Yeah. A, a Jedi. Oh, he's sensing Luke, so he senses like Padme. Something related to Padme, maybe, or something like it doesn't have to be Obi Wan, maybe. Yeah. Or I mean, he was there when they were born, right? I'd hate to be the scanning Who? crew because they have the worst outfit in all the Empire. Yeah. And just a jumpsuit. Vader wasn't there when his kids were born. He thinks they're all dead. Those like no, those are ceramic tiles, aren't crazy they? Crazy asshole. The companion cubes. But that's not what he's saying. Portal. He's saying, like, <laughs> I, I feel something. That's strange. It kind of feels like Padme. Or maybe it's something else. It's something related to me. You yeah. know, it could yeah. be anything. I, that's why I think it's an interesting question. The yeah. novelization, it's it's Obi-Wan. Is the novelization canon? Yes. When it, Unless it contradicts the movie. So we, we, we don't know. We have no way of knowing. Yeah. <laughs> that. What does TK stand for? Nothing. It's just a number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just serialized. Yeah. Lex Luthor's uh, uh, prison number in the Batman movie, the, the newest one, uh, is TK421. I just nice. figured it'd be like, you know, TO, Technical Officer 321 yeah. or something like that. That's a scary thing to Man. open the door and see. Yeah. yeah. It's like when the elevator's <laughs> opened and it was just me on the other side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obi Wan lets them do all the dirty work. Like I'm too old for this shit. Yeah, fucking Aaron sneaking around. What? <laughs> fucking Aaron. It's a smart thing. He's to a do. smuggler. There's Smugglers a, sneak around. That's do. what they do. There's Not millions of them. Them. Want when they want to fight someone. <laughs> Up here in a second. Apparently, the uh, translation was originally for Chewie. Uh, this old man's gone crazy. Yeah. This old man's gone mod. That's what it is. <laughs> you, there's actually a clip where you can hear it. Uh, it's, this old man's gone mod. <laughs> you boy, you said it, Chewie. Yep. This looks so pretty compared to the original. Like, cleaned up. Yeah. Just all these random lights. There's a screen in the back that has the same repeating thing that it says THX 1138 yeah. all the way down the screen. Gosatine, you must take a different path. Is it Alderan or Alderon? I think it's Alderon. Because he said Alderan. Yeah. Is it, it Han or Han? Don't be one of those guys. <laughs> Their paths don't have a different little outline because he sticks with him the rest of the movie, just in force form. <laughs> there it yeah. is. Their paths are exactly the same. <laughs> he might just meant that moment. I think Han complains more in this movie than C-3PO does. <laughs> it's very possible. He's around all these fools, though. <laughs> Luke is very petulant. <laughs> How does Luke supposed to be here? 19 or 20. Yeah, I think, like, yeah, 19. 
Yeah. Like that, I right? mean, it, it, yeah. The old timeline was 19 years after Revenge of the Sith for sure. I read that the Clone Wars is officially five years now, Eric. I don't know. Which would make more sense. <laughs> He's shaking his head. Yeah. <laughs> what? That See, now so he wants to listen yeah. to the old man. Yeah, right? <laughs> Such a fun character. Yeah. <laughs> and he appeals to his, his greed. You know, yeah. Luke and read him and go, you know what? Well, and like seeing him in Solo, how like altruistic and helping he was in the beginning of that movie. Yeah. 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 And then he becomes this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that as a response. Yeah. I can imagine quite a bit. I would need Better. assurance. You know what I mean? They have to call Ooh. them binders. They can't call them handcuffs. No. It's the future. Can't call them shackles either. Many Wookiees were used to build the Death Star. Yeah. Yeah. As slaves. Everybody has a blaster. I know, everybody. Every single person has a blaster. <laughs> well, except those scanner technicians. And the droid with the syringe. I love this. I believe it was improvised. <laughs> this sound is so great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's that droid called again? A mouse a droid. Mouse droid. I thought it was like a, something else was called as well. Like a real, maybe not. Like a real name? Yeah. Ma mouse droid. The real Slim Shady. Do, 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 do. At least there's some handrails there. Yeah, right? Yeah. There's the first safety we've seen in all of the Death Star. <laughs> I mean, that needle. What if that, what if that droid just bumped into somebody with that needle thing? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> just walking around the corner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. It's terrifying. What's great, like, after reading uh, uh, um, Claudia Gray's book, there's so many, like, like uh, senior cadet, like, senior in high school, basically, cadets here, and, like, first year out of the academy cadets, like, mm -hmm. 30,000 of them, like 19, 18 year old kids. Well, because yeah. it's the most like secure thing. Yeah. yeah. You, you probably don't need the most experience. They're, they're basically doing here. like internships here, most of them. Yeah. yeah. There's and a also, lot of young kids, a lot of like a lot of young children, families. Which book is that, Shane? Uh, Lost Stars. Yeah, Lost Stars. Lost yeah. Stars. It's just like guard duty, right? Like garrison duty. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. It would probably be really boring. Yeah. Until they're all dead in an instant. <laughs> yes, everyone. <laughs> yeah. What? I love the look around, like, where's the door at? Yeah. I just see the Shockmaster. Remember, <laughs> I look at Stormtroopers now. <laughs> yeah. He stole it, Rick. <laughs> Thing. One, one, three. I love those cameras up there. They got, like, six yeah. lenses. Yeah. I wonder yeah. why. And all probably them. different wavelengths. I love this moment of them just shooting everything in this room. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, fuck you! Look out. <laughs> Here, you shoot Here. it. Here. Watch out, he's loose. Take this gun, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, they They're shoot. They're so lucky that no one got shot. They shoot everything in this room. Look at yeah. them. Screens. And when Door when you control. blast somebody in this movie, man, the, it just explodes your chest. Yep. Yeah, they get squibs. See, I, I wouldn't even know what any of that shit was. I just started shooting it. Like, I don't know what this is. That's what, it, that's what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's probably like the air conditioning and the prisoners that are left <laughs> in there are like, No! Please! <laughs> I always like looking up improv moments and stuff yeah. like that. This is one of them. And I heard that, yeah, Han Solo never read his lines of what he wanted to say so that it sounded natural. Yep. He wanted to make it seem spontaneous so he didn't learn his line. <laughs> Dude, that great. cringe reminds me of when I killed you guys with the death note it does uh, 
This guy has to be like, did he just shoot me? Yeah, like that's gonna do anything. <laughs> no, it goes through the phone. Like in solve, iTunes. It doesn't solve anything. <laughs> uh, I would let every prisoner out. Every yeah. pris- prisoner of the Empire. This creates chaos. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. Escape, I mean, if yeah. they're in there, they must not be friends of the Empire. Well, there, yeah. might, there might be dangerous criminals There's like there a there Trandoshan too. in there yeah. or some shit. He just eats me. <laughs> yeah, let him out. Tell him go get the Empire. But yeah. what if he doesn't speak basic well, and he's like, ah, and he thinks yeah. I'm the com- captor and he snaps my neck. They should have brought C3P up. You got a Wookiee. Yeah. Wookiee to help you. A yeah, lot of these Wookie also have you. people maybe like from the, there's a lot of general population people, like families on here. I wonder if, I wonder if they're like people who've committed crimes, you know, on maybe. the Death Star. Well, uh, Urso, what, you know, could yeah. they put Urso into one of these kind of things yeah. back in the day. Just to, all right, you stay here and then we, we get you out when we need you kind of thing. It could be people that they're just not big fans of the Empire, but they, you know, they're not warriors or anything like that. Their fire has gone out. Their fire has gone yeah. out. Yeah. <clears throat> What's interesting is like he knows that's Anakin. You mm-hmm. know. Sure. We will light the spark that will ignite the fire. Yep. Or bring 300 troopers with you. <laughs> he still wins. <laughs> Does he? Does yeah. he, Rick? I did like that blue R2 unit in the background there a couple yeah, shots ago. that was cool. Yep. I had that <laughs> figure. That guy, through. Like, we're finally through, and he just dies immediately, and then <laughs> everybody has to step over his dead body. Trip, they trip and shit. Look at him. That sucks. His now, ass is in the air. Now, here, here's what I'm going to say. Everyone says stormtroopers can't hit anything. They're using the same guns at a little hole. One guy comes in, they shoot him, but they can't hit anyone else through that yeah. tiny hole, and they let them sure. all in. Yeah. In theory, they should be able to shoot well and keep them in yeah. there. So I think it's more the guns. Yeah. yeah. Never have to reload. I guess not. I mean, in Battlefront, you do. You yeah. Or let yeah. it cool down, at least. Yeah. Those those belts and the packs on their belts are supposed to be the, the batteries, right? Yeah, it depends on the guns. Some guns have cool downs. Some guns had, like, power packs. Tink, tink, tink. And the guys <laughs> open up. <laughs> He's like tapping a spoon against the door or something. <laughs> well, I didn't. I love, I love this moment. The face. To all the people who don't like, you know, they think uh, the the new ones might have some kind of feminist agenda. Look at Leia here. Look at it. You know. Here. I mean, she's like the only female really in this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but and, she is bold and and strong and yeah, mm-hmm. does what she needs to do. It's not some fucking agenda. Like, sure, they came to save the princess and stuff, but <laughs> I love that she was like, "No, it stinks." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she does as much to save herself. Like once she's she out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's tired of their incompetence. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna... about to say going in this garbage shoot ends up working out, but it just wasn't a good plan. No, it's it really better wasn't. than the alternative. Like, what, like the instincts would die. I I, yeah. I I know that used to be a matte painting, and I know with the special editions they made it look better, and then the Blu-rays they made it look a lot better. It looks like a long hallway now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, that was that was. <laughs> look at her like, look at him like, all right, I fucked up. At least you're not fucking dead. Yeah, you're not getting shot at. Yeah, if it's that or get shot with lasers, oh. you know. Oh man, that's terrible. This is worse. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. I, I would go off right then. Your worship. <laughs> That's so terrifying. Yeah. There's nowhere to go. He's hear that. And it didn't go. It <laughs> <worse. laughs> yeah, it's the same sound. I guess the reason why he's so high up there is because, like, the, you know, his suit, they didn't want to get it all fucking ruined. Yeah. Sure, and you I'd mean. be in there too. Yeah, yeah. I heard it, it still smelled even after finishing the scene, though. Like for the yeah. rest of the shooting. Yeah. Mm. Imagine if it's all damp and shit. Peter May, you walk around. It'd be annoying, like having wet shoes. Get so, the fuck uh, out of the water. Look at that thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fuck so it's, it, it said that Mark Hamill, when he goes down here, he's under so long that he, he busts, busts a, blood, a vessel. blood vessel in his face, mm-hmm. and that's why when he comes back up, you only see one side of his face, so you don't see the red mark on the other. Yeah. Jeez. Show the red mark. It yeah. looked good. It would look good. Did he stay under that long intentionally, or did they hold him under? I was going to say, there's cuts there. I mean, why don't they just fucking, you know? You just fuck up sometimes. 
Dude, in Shadows of the Empire, when you're in like, the sewer, oh my and God. you're like floating around, you'll see one a whole body of these things coming uh, at you. I'm like, oh, no, kill it with fire. I don't have any other water. Like a like a rat king or something? Yeah, that's gross. It's terrible. It's like a squid-looking yeah. kind of uh, thing. I get the fuck out of that water. Did you find like a giant one? Yeah. At the end of that? I, just, I love the idea of like this Death Star in space having a pest. Yeah. That just hanging out in the garbage, you know? Like, how did it get in there? Yeah. Like, when they were transferring garbage at some point, it just got in like a rat on a ship, you know? It grew, right? I mean, it looks like mostly inorganic trash. Yeah. Like, how did it. Like, how does it survive? Yeah. Yeah. But there's got to be food and. I mean, there's liquid in there, so it's got to be something. You know? I mean, most trash that, like, in my trash, most of it is just trash, trash. But there is still, still some remnants of food or something. This is such a great scene with CP- 3PO just oh, freaking out. It's really yeah. funny. Yeah. It's really funny. <laughs> it's like a good adventure piece. Yeah. Well, their excitement, too, whenever they yeah. actually achieve it. He's like, ah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> You're like, oh, my God, they're dying. He, I don't know why they don't try to straighten that more. Like, it, that angle is not good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It weighs so much, I guess. <laughs> it looks so Start worried. Start climbing up, that. man. Jeez. <laughs> that guy just still out. Donk donk. <laughs> yeah. Make the noise. Yep. yep. They added the noise and it's great. You think that guy feels like a fool on set and is like, all right, go and bang. Oh, son of a bitch. Don't ruin yeah. the take, though. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about droids. They're not like, why the hell are you so dirty? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, he's dirty son of a bitch, man. I'm, fucking, I'm not going out there again. I hit my head again. That guy stays in the room. Mm-hmm. Man, it was so hard for him to be able to do that <laughs> with the R2. Just get him to move sometimes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't care. I love that these stormtroopers just don't understand how droids work and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Or Chewy. They slow it down a bit. I think. I think it would just snap. Yeah. yeah. If that was metal or something, you'd just be dead. Like, pipes, when they're put under that much strain, sometimes they can just fucking explode. Yeah. Oh, man. Turn on your damn communication <laughs> device. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, every time I watch this, I'm still thinking, come on, 3PO. Yeah. Like, I know it's fine, but I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. it's such a you good idiot. scene. It's so tense. I would have tried to use that shorter, fatter one. Stronger. Swim down, try to find the way out. <laughs> Where'd the other guy go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to join him. Yeah. You just go yeah. into his lair and get eaten. Yeah, but you don't know what it looks like. Then. Oh it could just be gosh. like this snake thing that could just fit into a tiny little like yeah. sure. rivet or something. Oh, man. We've had some problems. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put my leg up, man. It's going to no, snap. It's going to snap. I, yeah. just, I don't know what the hell I'd do. I would try to climb up and give myself as much time as possible. Think yeah. and thoughts. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't crush it to zero. So as long as you stay above the trash, unlike Luke. It slows it down a bit, right? It, if you can yeah. get above yeah. it the best you can. Like, Leia and Han are up higher. Yeah. He's, like, down in it, stuck. Yeah, he'd be fucking dead. I, I love the scream. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, they're dying. Does, from 3PO's <laughs> point of view, it does sound like they're dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fast enough. <laughs> it's not your body, it was your mind turning off the communicator. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else you could have done to make it faster. Should I go lefty or righty? He switches yeah, right. back and forth. Mm. Yeah. Is he still holding his saber here? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Who designed this? <laughs> I'll walk around in his little. And look how safe this is, guys. Well, <laughs> yeah. I imagine At least there's, there's like handles. A, yeah, like a device or something, like a ladder that you, extends out or something. You would imagine, Rick, but given what we've seen so far of the Death Star, <laughs> nothing looks safe. Mm-hmm. When they sound. just built it, mm-hmm. maybe they're still working on the handrails. Because oh, like, okay. earlier we just saw some searchers go over a bridge, and the guy like turns around in the beginning and is like, all right, be careful. Mm-hmm. I love that noise. It's a good yeah. noise. Yeah. I do like how they keep their utility belts. 
But it, it's interesting to think that all stormtroopers have a grappling hook. Yeah. <laughs> and they just never used it. <laughs> so hilarious. It's posture. It's like, like a scared dog. Yeah, it's if so a, funny. If a dog could be scared and shake its head like that, it would. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Did he have a tail at any point in his design? Uh, at some points in his design, he was more yeah, dog-like, I right? Think so. Well, no, he's more dog like here. He, he's. They actually reused the design uh, for Star Wars Rebels, the, the yeah. original Macquarie the design. He's a little more like lizard like, mm. uh, kind of like a lemur, look to him. Mm. That's a lizard like. No, but he's more <laughs> lizard like, and then also kind of looks like a lemur. These guys are just bored. Yeah. Yeah. Every time Stormtroopers talk, I just assume Sam Witwer might be involved or maybe like... <laughs> well, ever since this, every time they're, they have Stormtroopers talking, it's usually Dave Collins and Sam Witwer talking about the next VT number. Yeah. Or as when they, when they did it for Rogue One, they talked about the VT-15s. Yeah, VT-15. <laughs> See the new VT-15? Why isn't Luke's hair messed up in this scene? In yeah, blue dryer. They probably went yeah, like see R two has one. No, yeah, did, did you thing, had, that thing right above. Did R2? you guys ever hear the conversation with Mark Hamill about that? No. He, Mark Hamill had the same words like, "Shouldn't my hair be all messed up? I just got that trash compactor and stuff." And uh, Harrison Ford's like, "Kid, it ain't that kind of movie. <laughs> we're looking at your hair. We were messing stuff up." Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Liz is a little disheveled. I love this. Yeah, yeah. make as much noise as possible. Oh, and they just added more so guys. many people. That looks so much scarier than the yeah. original version. Yeah. It looks a lot better. Man. This is so funny. Before he came around, there were like eight guys there. There hey, was wait like four. Yeah. Was there four? It was like four or five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like a locker room or something. There's so many now. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Han's not using his DL-44 anymore either. He's using the E-11 blaster. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think where it went. Is it in his holster or he, is it missing? I don't know. He probably took it off when they... Uh, we're putting Stole just the, the stormtroopers. Yeah. What I want to know it. is, when the hell do you ever see a stormtrooper pull one of these grappling hooks out? That's exactly right. Yeah, I mean it's on their it's on their belts, but well, I, well, I just can't think of a scenario. Why would the bridge not be extended? He blasts the controls. No, I mean, but like, why would it be for retracted? for defense? Like, for s- probably yeah, like a drawbridge for safety, but, Rick. Whenever you like lock something <laughs> down and lock doors and stuff, you retract your bridge so people can't get across. Limit mobility. <laughs> I'd make sure I'd fall backwards if I got shot. See, and look, here's again Leia taking it, yep. taking people out here in a it's second. It's like fucking Batman. Look at that belt. I mean, when they need to go down, the clone troopers do the same thing. Yeah. Like they go down like a uh, ravine or something. Repel, yeah. Oh, the guy on the ground. I'd be shooting their feet, here. man. I just reach in there and grab them. <laughs> you grab them. <laughs> just you step on their toes. Trooper? See, that guy just like popped him. Man, so lucky. Yeah. Or is it? One. This was one take. Look at that oh. shot. They both did it themselves too. Yeah, they didn't really. The stump guys didn't really tell them how dangerous it was. <laughs> they, had, they did it too. They do it one shot. Is it going to be okay? He's like, oh yeah, sure. It's a lot better than your <laughs> hunter from the future, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. There's the blue hey, uh, clear uh, headed R2 back there. He again. takes that again. Why do you cool. take it out and then put it away and then take it out again? It keeps on sensing stuff case, and yeah. putting it away and like he, he might need it, but. If he doesn't. Dun, 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 dun. This is that. one of my favorite parts right here. Close the blast doors. <laughs> but they close so slow. Well, they're big and open heavy them. doors. No, open them back up. <laughs> Forget what I said. <laughs> here we go, gentlemen. The best mm. fight in the saga right here. That's what some say. See, in this saber. next shot, I I'll think conveniently the biggest corridor. His saber looks good. Now, the blade oh, was, there was now. already in it for that shot, and he just turned the lightsaber so it mm-hmm. looked like it ignited. Yeah, the, the colors look a lot better in this one. Yeah. yeah. These are actually the, the battery-powered ones. Mm-hmm. Lucite rods. Oh, damn, he spinned. Oh, yeah. so cool. <laughs> Should be purple flashes, because oh, red and blue coming together, right? Yeah, but you always get a uh, an orange flash regardless of the color. Now that's yeah. green. 
Well, yes, the the film burn kind of did a green thing, but and in most lightsaber fights that you see, it, you get the an orange flare. I believe this fight too is the only one that David Prowse actually fights mm -hmm. in. Yeah, everything else and is Bob I, I Anderson. I always thought this looked yeah. so funny right here, like when he kind of whacks it at him. It was coming up, I guess. Yeah. Like, especially in the edition before this, like, you can tell the saber looked fake, I thought. Yeah. Well, you could see that one shot, Obi-Wan's saber was bending when he was putting like force right against it. Yeah. That's my favorite part of the fight, actually, yeah, is just that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's, like, something you would really yeah. do. I think the fight itself is actually pretty good, considering you have two older you know how yeah. when was the last time they had to use their lightsaber to fight somebody you yeah know? True. like it's been it's vader, been a while vader did it like an hour ago <laughs> well he wasn't yeah. fighting another saber user though yeah i mean it's just it's a product of its time it, it, back when we first saw this movie it was fucking awesome and now they've raised the game yeah. so much that like i think all of that know? is yeah, pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good this looks decent yeah i think the fight itself is good yeah it fits with like who our characters are how long it's been since they've yeah, been lightsaber it, fighting it, and stuff it feels and like a like a, almost like a kendo match yeah. like a, almost like a yeah. sparring kendo match it doesn't necessarily feel like space wizards who can see the future like we've no. seen in other yeah. stuff you know but they're you know it's not their prime anymore i don't no. think you know yeah. it's been a while we see vader in five he's an, he's amazing yeah We think Vader's thinking right here when he does is like, oh, you left yourself wide open. Yeah. Got you now. <laughs> He's probably thinking, who's got the high ground like, now, bitch? <laughs> Vader is just like, oh, see, he fell. Did you see that? Yep. This motherfucker is it's like, he's, it's like he's got no clue, really. You know? Yeah. Why would he even step on that? Like, is he still here? You know? Luke's trying to shoot Vader there, right? But he's just accidentally hitting. I think he's just sh shooting out of rage. It's a good thing he accidentally hit he's that. Because he's still shooting here. Uh, I think he's the most accurate here than yeah. anyone is in this whole movie, though. He's firing a rifle by holding double hand. <laughs> and Obi-Wan yeah. is already... Well, more like a... I don't know. Yeah, Obi-Wan like has done, like, gun. the first part of retaining your consciousness with Qui-Gon Jade. It was just a voice. And See, then later the on, he actually takes a physical form as a the, Force ghost. That's for, like, a, like a TIE fighter will land right. up there, and that's how you can get to it, versus it landing on the ground, bringing, like, a big ladder or something. Yep. Okay. They dock so, them high. Right. And so you have to get on a catwalk to get to it. The thing talking about is like how bad the stormtroopers are at fighting, but also if you take into account that they also have a tracking beacon on the Falcon to follow it, maybe the idea is like, hey, don't kill them. Make it look like you're after them. Maybe the stormtroopers yeah. all know that. Maybe they do. Hey, maybe guys. Vader was counting on their incompetence, knew they would miss. <laughs> That's what the plan was. Maybe. But if you Just don't kill Leia. That's pretty much I mean, all you need to do. Yeah, if you want to take into account that, hey, don't kill them, you know, but... Make it look like you're after him. Yeah. I don't think Vader was counting on the fact that Luke shot the door controls and he couldn't get to him. Yeah, but there's a tractor beacon on there for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Could be the it, rebel base. That could know? be a contingency too. This isn't the yeah. only great piece of work with plot armor, yeah. either. Yeah. Well, if you go up, you go down, and yeah. but now suddenly you're left. The, right. the yeah, now suddenly the gravity is a little bit different for these guys. You know, this is so cool. Yeah, because they're opposite, right? I know they're opposite. One's on the on the uh, one's up top, one's down and, below. Yeah, the belly. Oh, I love the music in this scene, man. When it just kicks in right here when the Tie Fighters come in. This is my favorite music. Yeah. Yeah. Just so thrilling, man. Yeah, this is the imagination that goes into like controlling. The, it's so cool. Yeah. And again, you, you the, would be the thinking sound something effects. that would age, but it looks awesome. And their, their, their screen looks like Battlezone, the tank game. Yeah. Yeah, it was so great. It was so great again seeing it in solo. Yeah. Oh. In uh. That's the best we'll thing be about the together. Falcon. <laughs> uh, you just you you fuck it up so much, but it just somehow figures out how to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. In, L3. in Lost Stars, they reference this. Like, most people don't know what the hell's going on. Like, that that base is so fucking huge. So it's like, oh, there's rumors that yesterday there was, like, some minor rebellion there. Mm -hmm. And everyone thinks the rebellion's a joke still at this point. I love those, uh, those anti-aircraft guns. They're like World War II, like, ak, -AK guns. So do you think we're meant to just not think about the gravity problem right here, or is there actually like a small gravity well in which that no. makes sense? 
I mean, I would just say that there's a little gravity section in each of these yeah. things, so you have to Also, you have that. like, today is the first time Luke has killed anyone. <laughs> yeah. Just so excited. Yeah. Well, you got well he's killed Womp Rats. They killed his, his aunt and uncle, man. Sure. Okay, maybe not them, these guys. <laughs> but they're <laughs> friends. But people like them. Explosion looks so much better. Yeah, the red and green mixed in with the sparks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fuse just burning in one of those I wires. Think I'm melting. Whew, man. That's great. Yeah. But see, was their plan the whole long? Mm-hmm. Well, Aaron, I've fucking seen the movie. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. Like, I think that's why the stormtroopers can't shoot in this movie. <laughs> Taking his gloves off. Like, Vader didn't even try to cut through that blast door. So, like, in terms of the plan, though, like, those TIE fighters, were they said, were they told, go out there and die, or go out there and capture them? Sure. Because they don't have, like, a way to capture them, right? Like, they the would TIE just, fighters, yeah, they, they were they shooting would just, them to kill them, you know? Yeah, like, they would just so, disable them and then catch like them in like the tractor in, beam. Just in terms of the plan, like, I, what, like, what was that? Yeah, I mean, I would, I guess it would be like, hey guys, go get them. Yeah, and then they, they just, sent how their many most well, incompetent. Well, they only, they only sent four too. That's you why know? I say it might well, be like a contingency. There's also like, know. and like I said, I, this is from like that book. Lots of times, the commander will get like an order, and no, and the, his underlings won't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So in that book, I care. It'll be like, hey, make sure this gets done, and make sure this gets done, and yeah. these other guys aren't allowed to know it. The other ones are just following protocol. Pretty like, much. Yeah. Well, there's the ship. We send out this many dudes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, those guys could have been told, hey, go get that ship. They'll be back up here as soon as we can. You know, and then the other, the commanding officer's like, eh, don't send any backup. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's pretty much what it's like. And like I said, in Claudia Gray's book, which is so great, like, that happens multiple times. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. There's Mars. I would... Definitely have landed on a different place first to check so the, the tracking. Which planet is Yavin? There's not thinking about it. What's that? Which planet's Yavin? Yavin is the gas giant. This is Yavin 4. One of the moons, right? Yep. Oh, he's speeding. <laughs> yep. Got him. <laughs> I, love, I love some of the parody things. Like, <laughs> pew, pew, got, got him. him. Yeah, I know. So, I'm glad we get these. I feel like just... it's more of a hammer of dawn. Yeah. yeah. There's a war. Yeah. Okay. It's like a, a, a laser. laser. One one of the great things about the the newer move, like the newer editions is seeing more of Yavin. Mm -hmm. What are these guys standing at, standing to attention for? It just seems strange. just in case. There's a there's royalty here now, Calvin. Yeah, but that one guy wasn't standing to attention. He's busy. He just had his hand on his hip. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> the way that plugs in, you know, it's so retro. The Death Star plans. <laughs> Looks like one of those balls, like at Walmart, where yeah. you like pull it and it expands. And you stuff. think it feels good when they're extracting the information from R two because they're like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell of a transition right there. Look at that little cherry. Six points thing. of interest in that fade. Yeah, right. That that Death Star got there so quick. Yeah. yeah. General Dodonna. Well, supposedly, it's it's got a. Uh, hyperspace drive right you know the, cr the craziest thing about this hd like seeing the stuff in hd is like seeing the faces of the random rebels and you're like who the hell is that dude yeah, yeah i, know, you know? I was <laughs> thinking the same thing yeah he's like whatever especially in like cloud city in the in episode five where there's a dude with a mustache and like an ice cream maker yeah, <laughs> yeah. and there were, did you guys see at celebration there was oh, like yeah. there was like 70 of them like running around the celebration was, there was more than that there was yeah, like 200 there were so yeah. many John Noel recreated this for Rogue One, like this thing. Oh, yeah? Just by, like, oh, taking the yeah. shots and doing, like, just drawing over it pretty much. Because hmm. nice. they didn't have it anymore. Yeah. This is, like, such an impossible ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's the biggest weakness that Galen could put in there and, and not be noticed. 
Thank God he did, because I've always wondered, why the hell would they put that in there? Right, yeah. yeah. What kind of technology I mean, is this? Is that wedge right there? Like, it isn't, is well, it? Didn't wedge change actors between episode yeah. four and episode five? Did he? Yeah, he did. I don't remember. Because every time I've seen him, I'm like, is that wedge? Does he look that different when he puts on a helmet? <laughs> <laughs> did you guys ever hear Cloud City was an idea they had for the first movie? For this one, no. But then they couldn't do it because of budgets or whatever. So they end up making like the moon and all that kind of sure. stuff. And they put Cloud City instead of being at Yavin, putting it on Bespin. Interesting. Huh. That's cool. I'm glad it's on Bespin. I think it was for Yavin. They had Cloud City planned for in this, and then they changed it because of budgets or whatever. Mm-hmm. Taking my money. Yeah, he's just got crates, of money. crates of money. Those are like credit chits. Like Rebellion does not have a lot of money either. No. You know? Like it's pretty significant for them. Yeah. They keep their word. So a lot of the plans, too, was that Alec Guinness wasn't used at all in the later mm-hmm. half of this movie and with no plans of having future movies. Yeah. That's the reason he was killed off, too, sure. in the middle. Because originally he wasn't killed off. And I also heard of Alec kind of like, yeah, like, kill me. I don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, which yeah. I don't know if it's Yeah, I read that, like, initially, like, he had his... Like basically going on to what would have been three movies, and then he was sitting there with writer's block, and his wife, he was saying, "I need to kill somebody," and his wife was like, "Kill him." He's not doing. He's literally standing yeah. there. You know, he doesn't do anything else. Yeah, not after the Death Star. She's also yeah. uh, very responsible for the final edit of this yeah. movie as well. Yeah, because the first edit, I guess, wasn't that good. Nope. I'd be interested in seeing it though. Yeah. From my understanding, it was like a lot longer, and scenes went on unnecessarily long and stuff, and hmm. yeah. Obviously, they took out the beginning, too. The beginning? Yeah, yeah, where he's sitting there with other teenagers debating, and they actually yeah. see... Uh, oh, with Luke and something? Yeah. Okay. Luke looks up into the sky and sees the battle from planet yeah. side and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How old is Carrie Fisher here? 19. She's 19. In real life. Yeah. In real life. In real I mean, life. She just comes across. She just so turned... I think she turned older. 19 during production. Yeah. Yeah. And Harrison Ford was 35, 36. Yep. There was another story I read about Carrie Fisher, and they had to fly them coach because they didn't have a ton of money. And when they flew him coach, her mom called and was yelling at George Lucas, and Carrie was there. And she picked up and was like, Mom, I want to fly coach. Fuck off. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Big, so first time we've seen him in this cut, but mm-hmm. he had been in the movie before. Look at R2 back there. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> that was a weird cut. Yeah. No, I never noticed that cut before until yeah. looking at R2. I did. That when a guy walks by, it cuts. So R2 is slowly going up, and the guy walks by, and he's immediately up here. Yeah. They hit a cut there, and I never I, noticed. I, I didn't notice that, yeah. That's fucking awesome. Aaron and I had those chest things with the laser tag thing we had. Yeah, we did. Yeah. That's cool. And like, you had like a Hans blaster, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, R2. I, I want to know what he's saying. Like, bitch, I was in the Clone Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Anakin's a way crazier pilot than yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. I killed a droid named Goldie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. He's a grizzled veteran at that point. Yeah. And what has he done in the past 19 years? Who else has he killed? That guy <laughs> leaning forward when he's driving that thing. <laughs> Look at that half mustache. That I know. Had. I was thinking the same thing. His peach fuzz mustache. <laughs> So what's your favorite ship of the Rebellion, like, design-wise? You got X-Wings X-wing. here, you got Y-Wing. X-Wing. X-Wing's it's gotta great. has got to be X-Wing. Um, in Rogue One, I really like the V-Wing. Yeah. But yeah, I, don't think, I don't think that's canon anymore. E-Wing. Anyway. Huh? Wait, Rogue One. You mean Rogue Squadron? Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron. Yeah, okay. The V-Wing. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. The B-Wing is neat, but I feel like it would be too hard to fly. It's, f- it's so cool looking. The though. B-Wing yeah. is pretty cool. I, want, I also like, I want to say the A-Wing, but using Rogue Squadron, I've... It, it, I died so easy in that, you know? What do you think they were thinking when they made this thing just rock? One of these close-ups? Because you know they filmed these close-ups before they finished any of these effects. Sure. And the effects, they don't sway or anything, you know? But in the close-ups, they're all going yeah. well, with in, the sway, you know? In jets and stuff like that, like on top of their landing gear, yeah. if you hit the brakes, like they wobble a little bit. So that's probably what they hmm. were thinking. This has kind of aged the worst, but it still looks so cool. I, mean, I thought that looks great. Right I there. love that. That's from the special editions. Yeah. 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 Well, it's it's also been updated a little bit, too. It's updated a little bit, yeah, but... I watched the old, old one like 10 years ago, mm-hmm. and I remember thinking, 
this there was this dog fight looks so much better with all the stuff they added in the special edition like so that, you, you can tell what the fuck is going on yeah yeah so that was wedge right there then right that was wet yeah but he red, looked red he, too but he didn't look like the guy sitting next to luke is what i thought like i didn't realize in the old ones how little they showed like they're in the cockpits like the whole time yeah So the guy who plays Wedge too. I mean, whether he's the same in the other movies, he is uh, Ewan McGregor's uncle. Yeah. Oh. oh cool. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, I love. What I the love the rebel. Think I love, love the rebel fanfare. Think for, about yeah. them. What are these? A dozen guys attacking this battle station? Yeah, that's what's happening. What do you mean? It's crazy. Yeah. And a Wookiee. It's just. It's not a crazy. Yet. Not, not yet. Not, it's not a yet. crazy Spoilers. thing. What are they thinking? <laughs> They're thinking they gotta destroy this thing before it yeah. kills more planets. The rebellion, man. This is yeah. Well, if anything, well, if anything this is all they got. they're just like, all right, let's do it. And like before they discover the weakness. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's cool about the rebellion and, and like in a couple of the books, canon books I recently read is like most of these guys don't believe in the force either, and they don't care. It's not, and, and they have something. They, they each join because they have like a personal reason for hating <laughs> mm -hmm. the rebellion. And they don't even the empire. yeah well, yeah the empire they don't necessarily think the rebellion's gonna replace it and be this amazing thing they just hate the empire you know what i mean sure that guy's enthused do you hear him yeah the, a lot <laughs> of people like say like hey, he sounds a little drunk <laughs> i ain't going there's a battle on the side well, what i think is cool is uh just hearing a recent commentary is like a lot of these guys who don't like mark hamill and Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford. No, Porkins. No. I'm all right. No, I'm all right. Oh. Yeah. They, they don't think this movie's going to work out, and they think this just could be the last movie I ever make. Sure. You know what I mean? Ever. And it's obviously not. He's got to be like, fucking, what the hell is that? Yeah. He's like, someone's talking. <laughs> It took him that long. Original scaring. I love that sound. Yeah, it's might yeah. be my favorite sound in all Star Wars. Just the roar of of the ion engines. Yeah. Oh no, nose. <laughs> How can I can't see it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do a barrel roll. That's a cool trick. I love seeing the Tie Fighter like it, really it, quickly it looks, in the back. Yeah, it's it's so much more coherent, man. Gosh. That sound is awesome it. too, isn't it? I love that it makes the picture of the thing you're shooting. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. <laughs> like, does it take like a picture and like does like a Snapchat filter over it? <laughs> Look at that guy's mustache. That's a huge mustache. It's great. It's like Sam Elliott. This mm. Music's so good. Yep. Like watching this, uh, I'm still like on the edge of my seat. Just yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, the sound would be just as good, but. Watching this, even editing without any of the music in your head, like how do you do it? Mm -hmm. You know, it's so great. That's why John Williams is the best. So, th that guy with that up on that green screen, seeing the battle, what exactly is he doing? I mean, he's just tracking. Yeah, I think he's just drawing vectors. I mean, they're, they're still needing to navigate to the trench and the the hole. You know, I wonder how long it takes to to, to fly around that battle station. Jeez, yeah. oh. it's one hell of a pilot. Red leader, this is gold leader. I love this. Oh, and then yeah. there's Vader's. Vader's a advanced tie. Mm -hmm. I love they brought that guy into the. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! That was cool. It's like he's so important. This to is the amazing Emperor. right here. Look at that guy stick his tongue out. So, gold leader, if you watch him a lot, he he did lines mainly off of people talking to him. Yep. So he would know when to say his lines. George was like, no, you got to just say your lines. I don't yeah. know. So he has all around his cockpit his lines. Really? So lots of times you see him saying his lines, he's looking down some, at oh, something. Oh, so funny. I didn't know that, no. So a lot of times you just, I mean, you just think he's looking at stuff to do, yeah. right? But Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure who was sitting next to Luke. I can't find it. Yeah. I got to need some glasses. Yeah, he's like squinting. Yeah. Don't know what his lines. <laughs> His eyes are probably I love burning Vader's from the sweat. Custom shit, man. I'll take them myself. What do you think the turning does? 
Um, probably changes like, the. Uh, you see the angle like kind of move. It might change like the that, range. It Maybe. probably changes the apex point of the two lasers, blasters. Stay on target. Ah, uh, sucked out of the cold vacuum of space. Oh, uh, this poor guy. Oh shit. Sucks. He wasn't even in the trench anymore. Okay. Okay. No, yeah, he, he left, should have left them alone. In that moment of triumph, but I cut those sideburns. But the guy who created this made a flaw, and they're trying to exploit it. <laughs> Didn't you see the movie? <laughs> Jeez, that's a mustache. Yeah, I know. Wait, <laughs> it yeah. really is. Every time I see it. Base one. Where's base two? <laughs> that guy doesn't. Oh, I'm away from my city. He sounds so much oh, different sounds, on the radio. Yeah. yeah. Half the time he sounds drunk. Half the time he sounds Texan. Yeah, Southern. Oh, man. Too small for the hyper lasers. I love the X-Wing design. Yeah. yeah. It probably is one of my favorite ships. Mm-hmm. Wow. Almost there. I <laughs> love the new monitor down on the dash. Yeah. He's the fucking the chosen one, man. The yeah. general likes to get his hands yeah. dirty. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Vader leaves from the front. For the well, most part. And like the other ones aren't even shooting. He's like, leave him to me. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, they just want him to cover. Just make me look cool. <laughs> well, in the books, he feels the most normal kind of when he's out flying. Sure. With his helmet on because everyone else has it's helmets away. on. It's <laughs> oh. Yeah. The, the impact in the side, whenever we actually see the screen later, you can see the impacts before sure. the missiles mm -hmm. go into the, the exhaust port. It's pretty cool. So he didn't have his ranging right. Nope. Dude, he's right on him. It's a bad yeah. shot. Yep. Even the computer made a bad shot. Uh oh. I love Luke. He's like, what the hell are you talking about? <sighs> ah! Oh, yeah, shit. Sucks. Man. Like, yeah, this, this is serious. Started I, out with like 30 ships, you know, now there's two. I, I was watching somebody that hadn't, you know, they're not huge Star Wars fans. But yeah, I went back and watched the original Star Wars and all the effects just, it's just terrible. But I, what is it about me that like, I just accept it all. I don't know. I mean, so much of it's I, models though, you know? Yeah, so, I know. Like, a lot of it's Like, that's just the same shot we just had, yeah. you know? It's the same shot again, but yeah, like so much it of it, looks like. looks good. I, I, I mean. But I'm trying to like examine myself. Like, am I looking at it through rose colored glasses? Well, it, I mean, it's like for me with Star Trek, like yeah. I will, a lot of that stuff does not hold up effects yeah. wise, Yeah, but I still love it. Yeah. But yeah. with this, it all holds up. But what's like, weird is Rogue the... One adopts a lot of the look and it still looks good, I think. Yeah. I, I think it looks good. It's, I just buy this right yeah. here. Yeah. Even the shot of them banking down into the, the trench. Yeah. Like there's a cut right before they actually dive in. And like, if you're just watching it, yeah. there's a flash and you don't pay attention. Yeah. But if you really pick at it, it's there. If anything, just, the, the only thing in this movie that I don't buy is the the blaster bolts look a little opaque and not very like lasery. Yeah. Like the only, they look like an effect. They don't look mm -hmm. like a, a physical thing happening. You know, Wedge is the only guy who is here, gets hit, and gets to leave. Everyone yeah, else yeah. gets hit and they die. Yeah. yeah. There's a quote George said about this scene. I'm trying to find. I can't find it. Well, Luke got hit. Come on, R2. Just increase the power all the time. Man, that looks so good, man. <sighs> the rebellion barely uh, gets by here. Yep. It's getting to yeah, and it, all, it almost ends right here, you know? His dad yeah. killed his best friend. He was so pissed at him. Mm -hmm. Look at me. Look at me. Look at R2. Look at him. Reaching all, all the way over there. <laughs> yeah. Using the... Targeting computer. It's about R2 misses, like, the new ships that Anakin used to fly, yeah. like these pristine... The ones that looked oh, better. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's like, this piece of junk. Yeah. Yeah. I love the floatiness. 
here. Mm-hmm. Like when he looks back out the window and it's like, oh. Yeah. Nice. Like all the handheld camera motions yeah. out of it. But just that, the change in music changes the whole feeling so it's of like the Vader's, same exact shot. Yeah. yeah. Vader's so tuned into the force, he, he senses that, you know? Of course, yeah. What's this fucking idiot doing? He's the last one. Are you saying that they're Vader... looking at each other, take out their headsets? Like, what is this kid crazy? Are you saying that Vader sensed Obi Wan talking to him? Well, he says no. like the Force is strong. With he just yeah, he, he sensed. Yeah, yeah. He's, but I Luke more, is like a life well right now. Yeah, but I thought it was more of Luke. Yeah, it wasn't so much Obi Wan talking, but no, Luke. no, I don't think so. Okay. At no, couldn't cut it any more close. May fire when ready. Yeah, no. Yeah, they're right at the line here. If here somebody we went to the bathroom, they'd be late. Man, I love this movie. Like, I'll fucking turn this goddamn thing, you know? That's yeah. why you need to have an R2 unit to turn your shit. Yeah, yeah. right? I <laughs> oh, have Yeah. Oh, man. You, you, didn't so have great. you didn't have him. What? He came I back. Love <laughs> I love that what. It's one of my favorites. What? The CEO named what? Yahoo off of that Yahoo. <laughs> That's yeah. a stupid you know pilot. That? Like, Vader yes. probably still would have won yeah. if it wasn't for that pilot. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Man, uh, there's the, the blast yeah. mark. Yeah. Yeah. Same mm. shot. Same motherfuckers with no. Mm. Here we go. Who's that? Does Y-wing? Tarkin know at this moment? Ugh. And so many people die. Good. Innocent people. I'm yeah. glad they died, and I hope they go to hell. <laughs> engineers, okay. software engineers. But it's well, just the children of people who are on board. Yeah. Yeah, but they weren't in the rebellion. You know, this almost got cut. Yep. George insisted having this in there. Yeah. And the other guys are like, no, we don't need that. To well, he wanted to say that he, yeah. he's alive, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they were they thought it implied too much of a sequel when they weren't planning on doing a sequel. Leia runs so goofy in the background there when you see her, but... <laughs> she's, she's like running to, like this. Yeah. Well, she's trying to, <laughs> like, hold her skirt up with her shoulders. And yeah. I, I think in real life, you would definitely have sex with her after this, after you just saved the rebellion and destroyed... But, you know... Man, I hope they didn't. I really hope they didn't. What, Eric? We'll just let that breathe for a while. Okay. <laughs> uh, poor R2. Yeah. Aw, uh, yeah. Fucking. I, I guess I just forgot how cracked up he he, he looked, man. Yeah. I love yeah. how 3PO does care yeah. for him. You know? I know. Before he, he was does, like, yes. why the hell would I risk my neck for you? And he's like, please, that. No use any part of me to Star save Wars him. is great. Hey, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Eric's talking. Look at the bra, though. There's no bra. Ugh. I just like that Vader was the one that even all of his attachment for R2, he was the one that shot him. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where's he the, probably didn't know. Where's the Y-Wing pilot? Huh? Where's Wedge? Where's the Y-Wing pilot? They're in there. <laughs> like, what did they get? They yeah, got they theirs already. They didn't, they didn't do shit? Who was the Y-Wing pilot? This is the main event. How uh, did he matter? Matter? How Gold, you get Gold away? Gold Leader? Didn't he die? No, Gold no, Leader no, died in the... He was the one going to shoot first, then Gold 2 or 5 or... I don't know. I love Luke's jacket here. It's a great jacket. Yeah. yeah. It looks like an old NASA material. A little bit, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Here's the Ford looks so handsome. <laughs> Leia finally got to change clothes. Yep. Yeah, look at this metal. <laughs> Does this metal here. say anything? Oh, mustache is back there, too. Good. It's interesting yeah. question, Rick. It's an interesting question. Mustache is back there. Oh, look See, at him. Look at him. He looks a little shinier. He looks like the mayor of Whoville. <laughs> he does. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoville? Yeah, that from guy, the Grinch. What's oh. his name? Uh, General Dodonna. General Dodonna. He just yeah. looks like somebody's dad. Yeah. <laughs> he looks yeah, kind of like uh, a falcon on that, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, look how clean R2 looks now. Dodonna yeah. in Rogue One. He's never looked cleaner. Dodonna in Rogue One is played by Barris and Selmy. Yes. yes Padme's servants would be, you know, they'd be proud of how clean he looks. Because <laughs> I don't think they did a good job as whoever to clean him here. This could have been it. Yeah, it could have been. been. They this all thought it was going to be. Yeah. You know? been great. yeah, that could have been all the Star Wars ever was. That'd be terrible. Yep. I love that mustache guy, though. You're right. <laughs> he does look like a who. <laughs> Poor Chewie. Where's mine? <laughs> All right. They only reward the pilots. Well, how do you come from nothing? How do you have nothing and, 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 and create this? You write a story, dude. Yeah. I mean, he had inspiration based on, like, you know, uh, yeah. Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon, stuff like that. So he yeah. had some stuff he wanted. Just yeah. Campbell's The Hero's Journey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hero's Journey. I mean, like, it pretty much writes itself. Sure. Like, if it just follows that pattern almost exactly. Put in new characters. Yeah. 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 
But I mean, he did well, such a good job with that, and then that being such a phenomenon. Yeah. You know what? Uh, like, same, yeah. What was it? Inflation wise, they would have spent forty four million on this, and mm-hmm. like the most recent Star Wars movie used like yeah. What was it? Like two hundred fifty million something or something like that. Like that. Yeah. Like that. yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. You, you know what, what? Sam Wilbur recently said when he was talking about this movie was like this. Uh, this there's so many concepts in this movie that you can make a whole movie about, like lightsabers. That could be a movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, dog fighting. You know what I mean? That could be a movie. Yeah. Wizards yeah. in outer space. You know, just yeah. and then it's all one awesome movie. And, well, there's, it always, there's, and there's a beginning, middle, and end. And maybe that's the reason. Like Star Wars always felt different to me. Like it always felt bigger than any yeah. other movie. Yeah. Well, I know uh, George Lucas has said too. Like other movies have tried to do space battles and you know dog fighting in space and stuff, but he always thought that this was more than that. It's not just mm-hmm. about space battles and a fight in the space, but it's also about fathers these, and sons. Yeah, these people. It, he's, it was like I said before about it being like a soap opera. It's a soap yeah. opera in space. It's a myth. But there's just all this stuff going on in space while it's going on, you know. And it, it, I mean, it definitely helps with having a, a director and a writer with that kind of vision. So much so that he knows exactly what he wants, but he knows that you don't know how to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you better figure out how to do it. Yeah. You know that's why Industrial Light and Magic was made. It was created you know, for he, this movie. Yeah, he took like you know war footage and and and, and shots of actual you know fighter pilots and guns being spun around yeah, like and cut them. And he's like, and do stuff. this, but space. And they're like, how? And he's like, that's your job. Yeah, and, you know, and he pushes them, and they, and they do it. Well, that's how you get inventing and innovation. It's yeah. like, here's the problem. How do we do that? And yeah. he did the same thing in the digital age as well. Yeah. And so much what, credit goes to John Williams, the sound effects guys, and the con- the original concept art guy. Yeah, I can yeah. never remember uh, his Ralph name. McCorry. Ralph, yeah. Ralph McCorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whenever he went to pitch this movie, he had like 20 pictures that Ralph McCorry painted for him, and he went to Universal. And he said he no. To, and they all said no. <laughs> yeah. so. You know what's what's crazy, and this is just some of the stuff I heard from other commentaries. Like this movie is the reason why like everyone wants to make sure like the merchandising belongs to the studio yeah, yeah. well sure. like it that was, was like the biggest remember gamble. what happened yeah. Yeah. with fucking with lucas remember what he did <laughs> yeah. we can't let that happen ever again yeah, yeah. Well, you know before, I mean? before that merchandise sales didn't matter but george wanted what was it like 40 percent or something like that 40 I, I percent was, of merchandise went I to him it was like all of it or something it wasn't all but it was like a good chunk it was a it was and a then any merchandise yeah. in the future like he got paid he, less for it he got yeah mm-hmm. he took less as a director and writer so that he could get merchandise sales, yeah. which I think was forty percent, and it paid off really well. It's one of the biggest, yeah. you know. It's, it's still yeah. it's still huge, you know. Oh, man. So in terms of the original trilogy, how is this movie ranked for you guys? Um, I don't. This one or Return of the Jedi is my favorite. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, I would. Jedi is my favorite for a lot of, yeah. you know, a lot of nostalgic reasons. Um, I, I mean, it's not even that. I just the confrontation at the end and stuff like that, especially. When you look at the prequels in consideration, like the way like Anakin's journey ends, amazing. Mm-hmm. Like I know five is historically looked at as the best. Yeah, uh, four is my least favorite. But like the the, the the older I get, the more I think about like everything starts with this movie. And there's no Star Wars is, yeah. without this movie. Yeah, five is good because of this movie. Yeah, I mean, you I, think I mean, five is the best, well made, and yeah. I think six is my favorite story of the bunch. But I would agree with you. Four Eric. just it juggles so it like spins yeah. so many plates where it's like yeah, it's. You got wizards, and you have a farm that they get yeah. moisture, and you yeah. have all these different things, and it introduces it really well. Well, oddly enough, you four, is, like, I can't just watch five or six and go to sleep. And, and five or six, like, when I was younger, at least, I would actually fast forward to my favorite parts. Yeah. Four, I can just watch. Yeah. And it has a beginning, middle, and end. And, and sure. This movie recreated the bar for effects. Yeah, absolutely. Like, where, where is this for you, Rick? Um, I would say five is my favorite. Mm-hmm. And then probably six, and then four. Yeah, it's hard I'd to say. rank them. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> yeah, I know you hate doing it, Eric. But yeah, like I, I generally do. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you know, I think it it, it can be a conversation worth having. But yeah. it's also yeah. just it's almost like they're just one movie to me too, though. Yeah. No, I, I agree, and that's how I feel about all of them. Yeah. Um, it's just one movie. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, like sorry, the THX I just came sound through our sound so much. Yeah. This <laughs> shocked us all. Well, That's I, a great sound. I can't not think of Star Wars in a meta point of view, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when I think of character motivation, I think of Obi Wan telling Luke about your father. I'm thinking, oh well, he's lying here because of this, this, and this. Yeah. But you know, like, and I, and when people say, well, he might not have known that then. Yeah. Or George might not have even known that then. I'm like, no, you know. Yeah. Because they they do it so well now. You know. It's crazy. Yep. Yeah. Just wonderful movie. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. really good. Well, guys, I think that's the end of our first yeah. commentary. 
which was uh, Star Wars Episode Four: A New yep. Hope. Um, hopefully, lots of people enjoyed it. We've been talking this whole time now, so it doesn't feel like we just talked over two hours. It, it doesn't really, does it? <laughs> it really doesn't. What is no. like two hours and seven minutes or something? Something like, like that. Like yeah. It, yeah. So why well, do they get off the Death Star? The movie just goes so fast. It does. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh shit, we're almost to the end. But it's weird. I enjoyed it. I had fun doing this. I hope yeah. you guys had fun doing this. Yeah. And hopefully, all you guys watching. Uh, enjoyed as well. Yeah, and if you want to see what we, if you want to have a say in what we do next, check out patreon.com slash blindway. Vote in the poll for the next commentary. Yes, also, absolutely. the reactions that we're doing, check those out as well. Yep. We have these wonderful shirts. Yep. These oh, Star Wars. In the blindwave.net show. Blindwave font. Shirt. As of right now on YouTube, I'm not sure what we decided. We either have one or two polls up right now yes. on YouTube. So just make sure you guys go over or on Patreon. Patreon. On Patreon. So make yep. sure once this goes on YouTube, you guys go over and check that out. So are we going to go sure. right into Episode 5 and keep the Star Wars thing going? Or well, are we going to go on guys. a whole new thing? That's I don't know. Depends, I know what I would choose. Depends what happens on the polls. So yeah. um, Now on YouTube, you may be voting for a future commentary. It may not necessarily be the next commentary because that one may have already been yeah. voted on as well. So yeah. we're trying to get ahead a little bit of these because our edits on movies and stuff, it takes a long time to get our editors sure. to be able to yep. have time to edit two hours down. Yeah. So uh, we're, tr- we're trying to get ahead a little bit to make sure we can keep these rolling consistently every Saturday. So yep. uh, thank you guys for watching. And yep. uh, you guys have anything else? Everyone good? No. I, I, just more stuff I wanted amazing. to say about the movie that I didn't say. Well, save it for Too episode late. five. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye, guys. guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more commentaries, more movie reactions, make sure you subscribe and make sure you check out Patreon where we do have early access. The next movie reaction is already up. Yep. And we have our polls where you guys can help us decide what we should be doing next. And if you want to, make sure you add this to your podcast listings because they should be there as well. Yeah. Check out the stores.